punch him. <laughs> Meathead could punch him. We'd appreciate that. Go again. Ted Nagahammer souls. Yup. <laughs> He's the only issue right now. <laughs> also, uh, I wasn't able to catch the end. Uh, did you try the laser in the um, in the Protect Majima bit? If so, did it work? Yes or no? <laughs> I'm assuming no. Because I'm fairly confident there's me and Street Bad Guy would have tried it at some point. Probably. <laughs> Probably. Oh, they knew. Oh, they absolutely knew. <laughs> they knew this. And you can't do this difficulty in New Game Plus, by the way. This is a literal New Game only speedrun. Was that Dead Souls of Itchian code? Depends on how much freedom RGG have and also whether they feel like doing it or not. I Because like the, the problem is, in the West, Dead Souls is such a toxic game with a small portion of the fan base. I haven't even tried the game. Um, there's There was a lot of people campaigning like, you know, oh, don't bother buying Dead Souls when it came out because, as we were saying earlier, people were bored of zombie games and, you know, they just didn't want to, you know, get a zombie game. And there are some people who played the original of this and dislike this game, which, that's fair enough. Like, I can honestly understand why people would dislike this. I like this game a lot, but you can tell that RGD learned a lot from it with Binary Domain, because Binary Domain plays so much better. But the thing is, it just... I, I think these days, there's... Because of, like, the actual, uh, The increased, like, kind of, like, popularity in the series, I think there is a world where, you know, you could do either a Dead Souls Kiwami or you could do uh, a new Dead Souls. I think there is actually a world these days where I think people would be okay with uh, more Dead Souls. But if they were to do a Dead Souls Kiwami, I honestly think it would be better just to make a new Dead Souls. Because the thing is, with this game, you would have to... Not necessarily change up the gameplay, but you would have to change up a lot of things to make this work well for, you know, to make it work well for, you know, modern, modern day controls and stuff like that. Um, reminder that when you're aiming down sights, you can't actually move. You can only move and shoot with the, um, like the strafe stuff and the stuff you've seen me like run around and like hit the fire button. Uh, you can't aim with that. I actually quite like that Dead Souls does that, but I can understand why people hate that. Um, you can move and shoot in binary domain. <laughs> like that's that's one big difference alone. Uh, and a Dead Souls Kiwami would also like give it a little bit of a boost due to, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, having a much better and stable frame rate. Um, Honestly, I like Dead Souls. I mean, it, it, it should be obvious I like Dead Souls, because I speedrun the damn game. But, like, there is there is definitely a subset of the of the fandom that is a little quieter these days, which is nice. But there is a subset of the fandom that is vehemently against this game and its entire existence. And it, it I can understand that, but it's it's also a shame. Like, this, this game has the heart of a Yakuza game behind it, but it is a zombie shooter. <laughs> so... <laughs> It has its charm. There's also a couple of things that would need to be uh, removed or changed, uh, like Michiru again. Yeah, go over there. That's unfortunate. Oh, come on. So you might not get hit with the table because I'm going to aim for obviously these two for the multi-hit. Okay, cool. Fuck you. Uh, could you get out of my way? How do you be there? Yeah. How did that not do five hits? Also, I don't think the lady zombie, yeah, they got hit yet, so that's good. If we have now. Again, reminder that for these tutorials, their HP is going down in the background. They just stick at one HP. So we want to, like, hit them all with the furniture so that we can just kill them all in one shot. Otherwise, you got to do more shots and then obviously reload before this next bit. What's doing this? Again, it's a bit of a misconception that it almost killed the series. Like, a lot of people keep saying that this was the game that almost killed the series. But again, literally Sega said in an interview that at the time, obviously Yakuza 5's, you know, and Yakuza 5's script is the size of two Yakuza games put together. And at the time, Sega were moving offices and also doing the merger with Atlas. They did need help with it, which is why Sony helped out with Yakuza 5. And then everything after that was Sega. I'm fairly certain this was in an interview a couple of years ago with Scott Strykart, either on Reddit or an interview taken from somewhere. 
There was definitely a Sega executive that said we weren't going to get any more Yakuza games in the period between Dead Souls and 5, and Dead Souls definitely didn't sell well. But I think it's a bit of a, a bit of a, I don't know what the actual word is. I, there's definitely something wrong with saying that this game killed off the series. Like, I think there's something to it, but it's not the full story. It's absolutely not the full story. Yeah, Randy Pitchford stealing Sega's money is more of a more of a, a killer for the series. What I love is that like the problem with aliens is that everything gets fixed with its stupid AI by fixing one line of code. Like it's so dumb. It's so dumb. Right, doesn't heal you for it. But you hear, like, every, like, end of, like, action section instead. At the very least, we get HP on level up. If we had to, like, punt abilities, like, points into, like, HP, oh, that's terrible. Uh, that would be really fucking bad. That would be really, really fucking bad. I don't like that. Everyone's like still over here. That sucks. Whoa, God. <laughs> also, fuck this next room. This next room fucking sucks on Dead Souls difficulty. This room right here just fucking sucks. This is this guy. This one guy right here. Just waiting on the reload. Oh, come on. He's like, yeah, I was going to say, he's like one hit. I hate that zombie. If that zombie hits you, then you're in for a world of hurt. In post wasn't also about bringing the X game the rest of the time. There was definitely there was definitely something about not bringing over any more like Yakuza until like Scott Strike Art and like the gang got together and like obviously made it a bit more like obviously a bit more passion, like effort, etc. Effort's not the right word, but you know what I mean. But it's just nice that, because, like, again, they've said before that, like, whilst, like, Yakuza 5 had Sony's help, everything after that, like, Zero, Kiwami, etc., that was all Sega. That was all Sega deciding to, like, say, hey, look, we'll give you more Yakuza before, you know, the first game even came out, which was great. We had so many, we had so many, like, you know, no ideas, of, like, if, you know, future games are going to come. And then, uh, like, before 5 had even come out, Sega like, yeah, you know what? We're going to give you Zero as well. And then obviously Sega really hyped up the fact that, you know, Zero is a perfect place to start because a big, one of the big things about Yakuza at the time, especially like with Yakuza 5 and everything was just like, you know, how do I play the series? How do I get into it? You know, it's such a, it's such a behemoth of a task. And it's also not easy, like even back then to get the originals on PS2. So at the time it was very much, you know, here's Zero, a game that you don't need any knowledge for. And it's a perfect starting point. Thumbs up. Which, in and of itself, isn't good enough for, like, marketing. But the thing is, again, as I've said, social media, the rise of social media was such a big thing. A gif of a chicken on Twitter became very, very memed and loved. And people suddenly went, wait, this isn't just a Japanese GTA. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> I've been telling you that for years. But because of social media and streamers playing the game, more and more people realized, wow, this series has actually, you know, got a fun side stuff to it. And then obviously back in Mitai as well. And just, yeah. Social media and the rise of social media just gave a second lease of life to the series. Everything just kind of hit perfectly at the right time. Zero being, you know, such a good fucking game. Being a game that you could start with. And also just, you know, having a bunch of streamers play the game and get people, like, actually interested in the series. Like, everything just fell into place for Zero so fucking perfectly. Like, really perfectly. Ah! 
guys to get all the zombies over. That's a little slower than it was earlier, like five, six seconds or so. That's fine. We did stop a little bit during that. <laughs> Try something with Naga Hammer here. I'm gonna try not giving him a second order like we usually do. Because usually we do. I wonder if that's glitching him out some way in the difficulty. I don't think it is, but. I'm gonna try just leaving him on attack. just say as well, shoutouts to Dead Souls letting you to press start to leave any menu. That's really good. It's really useful. Don't want those zombies at all. I had to kind of lead them a little bit. But you heard there where you didn't hear the sound effect. I'm going to try to see if I can order issues now you can here. I can hear. Oh, he's being grabbed, so good for you. <laughs> right, again, headshots. Just one headshot. That sucks. Yes. Still give him orders. Work a time just in case. So give him orders. So while the zombie's close to me, but this should work if like I can actually get the QT off, which I can. Fifty in a row about being hit, that's nice. Fancy polymer, eh. Or something that we need. Yeah, now something for five at PSX with Geo Call C was really, really good. Oh uh, yes, I'll send the corner. Sure. Uh, there was was there any rifle rounds there? I don't think there was any rifle rounds there. Um Okay. I need to buy rifle rounds. Yeah. Sorry for being so nasally again. I still have a little bit of that cold from yesterday. I'm feeling a lot better today, but I still have a little bit of it left. Um, I don't think I got any rifle rounds there, so yeah, that's an issue. That's reloaded. I can still command Nagahama. Kills 100. Ooh, good hit. Nice block of steel drop, that's lucky. Nag Hammers, now isn't the time I want you incapacitated, but you know what? Good luck. <laughs> He's gone. He is actually gone. Good luck. Oh boy. Not like a crybaby. Yeah, he's, he's just incapacitated at this point. I know you can't see it below my webcam, but he's gone. Again, I'm not waiting around for the crybaby. That zombie hit so I could get through. Oh, thankfully, you don't need Naga Hammer to be on his feet to be able to get out of here. <laughs> For me, for me, not only was the 5 PSX announcement really good, uh, it was the 0 PSX announcement. Like, the next one was also really good. Like, being told we're getting 0 and K1 was just like, oh. Like, 
we we never got like announced ahead of time like releases for the yakuza games and then to be told hey you're getting the next two by the way just wow okay <laughs> like holy shit um i'm pretty sure sega are happy that they you know kept faith with yakuza and again everything was just a perfect storm for zero like everything just happened at the best possible time like genuinely that's gold that's gold it'd still be better <laughs> this block of steel drops real good though very happy with that right now now we want nagahama to die <laughs> I'm gonna try my Kamiyama shot. Yeah. They said earlier. Hopefully hopefully we have enough, despite not selling the fifty thousand anime figure. Okay, so we'll sell our items. We don't have any rifle rounds again, which is a issue. Uh, not the block of steel, obviously. You, you. Uh, I should mm, I should keep you for later, but we're not going to. Uh, I don't really need the high density bottom. It's only 800, so it's fine. Uh, we sell the two weapons. So you and you. I. Pawn. You. Now I need to do a quick little menu. Some rifle round. I hope this leaves you with enough money for Majima for the gambling hall. It should do. Question mark. Yeah, zero and K one were a double announcement. Um, cool. <laughs> considering everything gets backed up on the internet, you should be able to find the. Uh, you should be able to find the initial announcement. So. Oh. Yeah, George Takei in a good, in a very good dub. We have bloody. Oh. Anime V2 cat girls in a mainline series. Oh. I guarantee you Gaiden or 8 has a VTuber uh, substory. I kind of hope, even if it is 8, I kind of hope it's Kiryu who gets that substory. Because, like, with how like how bad Kiryu is with technology, I want Kiryu to find a VTuber and have no idea what the fuck a VTuber is. Because... I think that I think that Itchy would make it a bit too silly, or Itchy would try to be a VTuber. But I think with Kiryu, he would just be confused, and it would be fantastic. He'd be confused, but he'd also be very accepting. So I kind of want Kiryu to have the VTuber sub story. <laughs> ah! What if VTuber pounds? Oh, VTuber pounds. Yeah, God, Kiryu punching somebody for NFTs would be great. Well, because of NFTs, not for NFTs. Nice piss. No zombies? Hell yeah. Good stuff, that's rare. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Itchy and Kiryu have a lot of similarities due to being, you know, in prison for an exceedingly long time. That was not the zombie I wanted to shoot. All right. All right. Get away from my anime figure. I need that. Didn't even any of the zombies I wanted to shoot you, jackass. No, might no damage. <laughs> no. <laughs> no damage isn't too bad to do with Ajima at the very least. It's really hard to do it with Akiyama. So I'm a little sad the last run died because that was really good. Oh, excuse me. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do panda suggestion. I think we're gonna get I think we're gonna get Hasegawa knocked down uh, at the top of the stairs when we next lead him through it. I think we're gonna try it. Cause if, if he doesn't get incapacitated, it's a really it's a really bad time. 
Maybe the me head could actually... Mm, the me head wouldn't demolish him in time, I don't think. The ideal thing would be to have him, like, go down to the zombies at the very start where we meet up with him. But the trouble is, he does run after us. Uh, and brings those zombies is the other problem. <laughs> and if those zombies are to gather around me in that corridor, we're in trouble. <laughs> oh, no, no. Yeah, Kira would absolutely fall for an NFT scan. Like, absolutely. The thing that really gets me, the substory that I really like, one of the substories that I really like in this series, it's in Yakuza 6. And it's actually the one where Date falls into the internet scam. And it's Kiryu is the one who kind of realizes, wait, this is a scam. After all this time, Kiryu's like, wait a fucking minute. <laughs> he finally realizes. Our boy finally understood. He finally realized. You're an idiot. <laughs> He's becoming very aware. <laughs> After all this time, he finally did it. K2? I thought that was 6. Am I? It might be K2. It's definitely Dragon Engine. In K1, there is a scam sub story. I've got fucking news for you. In K1, the only sub stories are scam sub stories. K1 sub stories and Yakuza 1 sub stories are very. Very, very light on being different. <laughs> They're all the fucking same. They're not all the fucking same, but you know. Yakuza 1 sub-stories just have too much Kiryu gets scammed, Kiryu punches people. There are ones that are obviously different, but Yakuza 1's and obviously K1 sub-stories are just a lot of, hey, Kiryu's about to get scammed. Hey, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I can. <laughs> yeah, that is correct now. That is correct. Okay, K1, K... I'm, I'm confident K2 was modem because it was Dragon Engine. Yes. So it was K2 for the modem and 6 was the prepaid cards. That's the one. That's the one where That's Kiryu knows. Good. That's the one where Kiryu actually knows something's up. That is actually Fine. the one where Kiryu knows that something's up. So point wrong, but point still stands. <laughs> Kiryu is becoming aware. He knows. <laughs> he gets it. <laughs> Bad. Yeah, Kiryu voice actor sub story is very good. Yakuza 2's sub stories in general were a leap above Yakuza 1's. Both like OG and K. Like, both of them were a leap above. Um, not just because, you know, Yakuza 2 gave us the most, the most memed and the most known sub story of the entire series. Good old Be My Baby. Reminder that in OG 2, uh, Be My Baby only turned up for like one or two chapters. In, if you're wondering, um, the reason why a lot of people these days say you don't have to worry about sub-stories, back in the day with the OG games, uh, with like OG 1 and 2 and 3 to an extent, uh, some sub-stories were literally time-gated, like chapter-gated. If you walk past that chapter, you wouldn't be able to do it anymore. Ah! Ah! Alright, fuck it. It's a shame I'm gonna potentially need that later. Whoops. <laughs> Whoop. I love the piercing on this sniper rifle. It's not like super great. It's not like the anti material rifle, but it's really good for the start here. Run away! Please don't hit those barrels towards me! Oh, you're in a good spot. Good lad. He's usually in a good spot, this one. We don't have to worry about this one too much. This also makes you happy. That makes me happy to hear. I like doing good runs. Five shot. With one. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, LED bringing back, like, at the very start, going to see the lady in the champion district and her talking about the aha water was just... Holy fuck. All right. <laughs> you, you have hit me right in the fucking nostalgia. Jesus Christ. Also, how is aha water still a thing? Oh, no. Ah! I'm good. Was only a one hit. Come on. Mind the last time we got the 50 zombies are being hit, buddy. Mission here, so things aren't going as well. Things are going very worse. Oh come on! Two runs in a row now. In the way again. Better actually this time. Oh, come on. 
sure we're reloaded for the next part. Tell them in Lost Judgment 2. Yup. <laughs> Miracle water, eh? Hey, he's the one that survives. Am I ironically enough? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> nice headshot. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, Froob, good luck with the run. I have certain skill. Thank you for the hundred bits. I'm, I'm gonna need it. Uh, it's time to kill off Naga Hammer. <laughs> Not gonna glitch on me if I fucking kill you, mate. <laughs> you bloody try. <laughs> The only issue I have with this next one is potentially Nagahammer could get stuck on the Meathead, and the Meathead might go for me, so the Meathead won't attack Nagahammer. That's the only worry I have about trying to get him knocked down here. Unless we kill the Meathead and let the zombies come through. It's a possibility. Should have reloaded for this bit, but it's fine. Can't <laughs> glitch me if you're dead. Exactly. This is a video game. This is a fucking hard video game. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Yeah, let's uh, shoot some zombies here, because I'd like to use this ammo box. Just to get like one round, if possible, of, of like rifle having two there is really nice. Uh, but also for a heal, just in case for the dumb shit we're gonna do. Shots is nice. To do this. This. Yeah, I was gonna say that was gonna be a problem because of not hitting that zombie. left. I was trying to hit this uh, zombie in front of me. Not the greatest idea I've ever had. Uh, I should go on right. I should go right. I should go right. So I don't know where the crybaby is currently. Hi. <laughs> the poly rat? Question mark. The poly rat. Let's not fuck this up this time, shall we? <laughs> Hey, you're uh, mostly alive, and I don't like that. You can get through here, no damage. It's so good for the uh, the no damage achievement. The milestone. Well, never mind. <laughs> That's bad. There's like 30 zombies with the grenade right there. So, like, it really helps push you towards it, but nope. Because, like, these zombies usually, if you stick them right there, don't actually hit you. These ones can, so you just gotta be careful of them. That's just this bit. Hey! Stop that. <laughs> Bloody monkey boys today. Chanel. Alright. Nagahama, it's time to die. <laughs> Naghammer, die to them. Thanks. Appreciate it. See, listen to the boop. I can't actually, like, give him orders. In a good spot. Kinda. Yeah. Alright. Now I'm just gonna wait and see if Naghammer dies. Oh, he got grabbed. Oh, he's gone. He's gone before he even get the stairs. Wow. I don't know what just happened. His entire HP bar melted. Holy shit. He absolutely got grabbed there. That's beautiful. Holy shit. Get fucked, idiot. Hey, camera? Monkey boy? HP? Hey, heal. Should have healed. I don't know where the checkpoint is. I assume it's at the start of this room. <laughs> that moment when I said I should heal. Um, 
Yeah, that's what I should have healed. Oh, he's fucking alive now! I can give him orders? Huh. Don't worry, he's dying. Let me do, do, remove the webcam to show you that man is dying. <laughs> All right. Cool, he's dead. <laughs> I should really heal. If I get grabbed once, I'm just fucking dead again. I sure am risking a whole fucking lot here. Just heal. Plenty healing items for later. I should go to the left. I kind of knew landing on the right, I should just move the other way. Goodbye. What the? How did the monkey boy die? How did the monkey boy die there? What just happened? Oh, this is a fucking video game. <laughs> what a fucking video game this is. Can't give him, I can't give him orders here because he's down, but like, he should follow me here. This is going to be a little on the risky side. Left. I'll deal with these zombies that came through, but that's fine. That hammer is following. Shooting him so he doesn't follow me through the fence. Ooh. Now, whilst he walks over, we can start building up headshot kills. That wasn't a headshot kill somehow. And that somehow hit me. All right, cool. Ah, oh, no, Gamma. Oh, stay there, please. Naga hammer, I swear to God! <laughs> Look around the fucking corner, my dude! <laughs> I'm still losing time, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> Walk around the fucking corner, my dude. I didn't lose all this time because of the death, but it did lose me like a good 15 seconds, probably a bit more. Bit of a shame. Oh. <laughs> oh. Fun continues. It's a lot better than earlier. <laughs> I have minutes of time saving this chapter, so. Here we go, I suppose. I can just not die in this chapter, that'd be fantastic. I'm so upset because, like, that, like, I can't tell you how quickly his HP dissipated in that first bit. Like, he literally, like, he went from having full HP to having one hit left in, like, a second. I don't know what happened, but he must have got grabbed by the, like, like, someone in the big group and then hit by multiple zombies at the same time. His HP fucking disappeared. That was great. <laughs> Why can't that happen all the time? And we don't have to worry about that guy anymore. All right. Let's do this. God, I hope I reloaded my sniper rifle before the start of this chapter. I have a suspicion I didn't. <laughs> I did. Just enough. Cool bullet. Alright, come on, monkey boy. Oh, wait, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Super grip. Yeah. And rapid evasion. Alright, let's go. Come on, monkey boy, get your ass over here. That works. Jackass! <laughs> How did you just glitch your animation like that? On the floor and get shot. Oh fuck, I missed. Oh fuck, I missed. <laughs> I'll take that. 
Not lucky with that zombie's position. Thank you for not hitting me with the 2x4. I appreciate it. Do fairly. Every time this zombie today. Now the downside is he's going to be there when I go for the lift. Monkey boy, all hit by him. Oh, fuck. Oh, I got away before the meathead turned up, at least. Yikes. Later. I did not get hit by the meathead here. Not the action I wanted to go in, but it's the action the game chose for me. Oh, fuck. Just keep soaring away. It hasn't been the best, but it's fine. It's working. I don't want to stop because of him. Picked up the chainsaw by accident. Never mind. <laughs> the awareness. I don't know how that worked out. Boop. Back here because I don't want these zombies to aggro straight away. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. It wasn't great. Uh, I'm in death range again, so I'm taking this. Uh, I didn't want the submachine gun ammo. So I'll put that away. I do want the, uh, I do want the submachine gun stuff or the grenade launcher stuff. So I'm going to have that get put away for Ryuji. It's probably for the best, question mark. Anyway, let's do this boss better this time, shall we? We're going to have something similar to the last time, like the last run we got here. I'd appreciate that. A lot. <laughs> like a hell of a lot, actually. <laughs> I'm go dying. I'll fucking try. It's my objective right now. I definitely died here with my PB. Uh, I should be ahead of. Uh, I should be able to take two hits here. Shot. We're gonna run that way. Come backwards to try and hit me. This one. Shots. Hopefully, get the weak spot. That's not a good angle for it. His leg's gonna be in the way. Yeah, it's fine. Ideally, the weak spot would have been hit, but whatever. you're coming backwards, you jackass. At this point, manually aiming might actually be better. Back in all time? Almost. No weak spot hits, unfortunate. 2.5 times? I don't know the exact amount. Um it's a lot more. Where are you? Right on me. I can't hit him from here. Wah! <laughs> Upsetting. That's too close to that one, aren't you? I fucking hate you! For being above me, jackass! He wants to be dead. <laughs> I 
think he's gonna leap at me? Oh, decided to just walk up to me instead. Okay, cool. Kind of waiting on the leap. That's why I, like, stop shooting. I missed it. I'm dead. I'm in trouble. Bounce, run! Up. <laughs> you can't hit me and I can't hit you! Ha ha! Are you going back? Fuck, he went back. Jackass! God, I was far away enough to not get hit there. Damn hit. Hey, come on. Wow. Nice hit, streamer. Jesus Christ. It's a much worse attempt than the last time. Where the fuck are you going? No, you don't get to go in the ceiling again. Stop that. And I don't have fucking ammo. I mean, that was not great. I'm not dead. Yes, menuing during the QT so that it slows it down so that we can see what QT to hit. Because as you can see there, you have no time to do the QT. You have less than half a second to do any QT. That's why we do the PS menu, because it freezes it on the screen and shows you what the button is. Literally, in Dead Souls difficulty, it literally goes at less than half a second. You do, you can just about get it off if you're fast enough, but like for certain QTEs, it's not worth doing. Neat. Good. on. <laughs> Carry on. <sighs> Fifteen zombies in this first room. Remember that. A lot of them are alive. That's fine. We'll start with these zombies. They'll start on me, I guess. One of them on the floor is alive in front of me there. Ah, it's just you. Not great. Not a good start. That's fine. I'm worried about the boss coming up, I'm not gonna lie. The Zero Kashiwagi QT I've hit on uh, I've hit on Legend. <laughs> you have less time to hit that one as well, it's great. Shoot you. Shoot zombie. Hope we get something good to sell. That's very good. That's an extra 50k. Be very careful because we only have uh, very minimal shots here until we get upstairs. Should be good now. Does Magic have a shotgun in his office? Why not? He's a member of the Yakuza. You got Majima is so well done in this game. It's so well done. Hey, I need ammo. Let's have a lot of shotgun. Hell yeah. I do appreciate that. Oop. Someone might have been still holding R1. Might have been me. Uh, make sure you shoot when going into this next room. Some right here. Those zombies spawn and you will have a bad time. Now comes the old fatty, which usually when they explode, they put the gas on the zombies and they get them really aggressive. Doesn't matter in this difficulty because they're already hyper aggressive. Nice room. Actually went really well going around the outside. No, I'm not trying to get the elastic alloys upgrade, magic with shotgun. Oh god, it would be nice. Again, we're going in this room, shoot these zombies. Gets them up and stops them hitting you. You're an issue, you're an issue! <laughs> Good. And crybaby time. Again, hopefully. Excuse me? I don't know. Hopefully, we can shoot the crybaby before she summons back up, but on this difficulty, that's kind of fucking hard. Ew. 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 <laughs> Not too bad. 
Like, you're gonna get a little bit of backup. I think she was doing the animation and got interrupted because this is the backup right here. Should be everywhere. Nice, good stuff, actually. Very good stuff, actually. Not a bad start. All right. Ah, this room's hard. <laughs> this room's fucking hard on Dead Souls difficulty because all oh, zombies are aggressive. So I like to stay like near the start and just like side strafe. Try and like kill zombies and get them stuck on like the stairs so they don't like, you know, all rush me and knock me down. Just getting grabbed or knocked down here is death. Also, the fact he will explode on you, that's fine. Because again, it doesn't matter. A little bit of a shame for the actual like, you know, FPS, but... Alive. Why else behind me? Take the scrap iron. I have to take the scrap iron. All right, how about? Now comes, now comes hell. <laughs> this uh, this boss isn't like the worst, provided it gives you a good attack pattern. If it gives you a bad attack pattern, this is gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> uh, this boss is, in my opinion, Majima's hardest boss by far. Um, Majima's last boss actually isn't that hard, in my opinion. Um. This one is, <laughs> but it all depends on what kind of attack pattern we get given at the start. Uh, ideally, we want the thing to try and punch us. That's, unironically, that's it. We want the thing to actually try and just punch us, like nothing else, like nothing special. I would have liked a lot more shotgun rounds than that, but it's fine. <laughs> it is the FPS killer boss. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. So ideally, it walks very slowly towards us. It doesn't walk slowly in Dead Souls difficulty. This is good. That's actually not good. Watch that last second. Haha, <laughs> fuck you. That is a good attack. Usually you'd backstep here, but I was a bit worried about that one. Stop. Good attack, because you just backstep. Downside to where I am is that I don't have that much room to maneuver anymore. No, I'm not getting hit by that. Goodbye. Please reload Majima quickly because this is such a good spot. Phase two. Okay, not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. Uh, getting in and out of the tank can stop you getting damaged in this fight. It's very, very important. Look at those ants. Those ants are playing about 10 minutes, by the way, folks. You know the drill. Unfortunate. He's going to grab the car. For some reason, we can shoot through the car. I need to uh, dodge that. Look at that timing. Going after the other car. I'm going to reload here so I have time to shoot. I want to be like reasonably close, but not too close to him so that we can hopefully like hit multiple times. Also, ideally, use the heat attack of the car. The heat attack of the car is actually pretty good. It'll knock him down on the floor. Thankfully, I'm not too far away. Got him. That was okay. I'm actually quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. I wasn't too bad. I wasn't too bad. When you know what to do with that boss, it's not too hard of a boss. Playing with the tank is good. Uh, don't let him get close to you if you go in the tank, though, because he will just grab you out of it and throw you, which does a lot of damage. But whenever he's, like, throwing stuff, you can get in the tank and just take no damage. Pretty good. Please put the phone down, though. <laughs> put it down. No conversations with Daigo. See Daigo soon enough. Alright, hopefully... Uh, shotgun rounds, please? Lord zombies, but it's fine. 
Also, this is where we're going to start stacking uh, kills without getting hit on the Najma, by the way. Because my my missions for Hasagawa right now are not looking good. Ideally, I would like the 50 without being hit uh, mission. <laughs> this fucking zombie is determined. I respect it. a stealth kill somehow. I disagree, but you know what? I ain't gonna complain. What I love Majima's, uh, like, actual battle theme in this game. It's really good. Twitch disliked your question so much it crashed. If it helps, I didn't see the question until now. Um, yes, in Dead Souls difficulty, the stuff in the ammo boxes are completely random. Uh, you can get literally any type of ammo, whereas in the easier difficulties, you will only get the ammo for the weapon that you currently have. So, for reasons, for those reasons, like, the, the any percent run with Akiyama in the first box, you only ever get some machine gun rounds, which we sell the sub-machine gun, so we don't need it. You attack female zombies? Uh, yes. <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> that is why this game is not canon. He will actually start punching zombies when we get to his part, and I'm not even kidding. <laughs> uh, I need shit. Uh, inventory to 18? Yeah. And max focus. Oh, crap. Now I can snipe more things. Better things. Bigger things. <laughs> Yeah, Saitama's not in jail. Saitama's in China. I don't know why. Daigo, literally in this game, in like the one of the cutscenes you're about to, or you would have seen earlier with Majima, um, there's a Tojo clan meeting, and Daigo's like, yeah, we sent Saitama to China. On Tojo business. What the fuck did you do that for? <laughs> what the fuck did you do that for? <laughs> Please, the one person who had been really good against zombies in a fucking zombie apocalypse. I have just enough money. Woof. Nice. Okay. Uh, exchange for prizes. Uh, I need me... Is it the antique chainmail? Yeah, it's one of you. Four of you. And one of you. No, oh, five of you. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> thank, God. thank God I did that correctly. Five demon stones, one antique chainmail, four rookies animal. Uh, you'll see why those are being used in a bit. I just hit stay here like a dumbass. I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> um, we're going to equip the armor on Majima right now because it fucking helps. Um, the amulets are armor, but they are armor at a sacrificial cost of some of your damage. Uh, you might be wondering then why we bought those. You'll see is the answer. They're very, very, very important to survive later on in the run. <laughs> 50 points! That actually might actually be important. Um, for Hasegawa, ideally we have around 3,000 points. Uh, I have the feeling right now I'm nowhere near that. <laughs> At the minute, I think I'm only around 1,000, uh, which is not ideal. Um, which means I'm probably, in Ryuji's part, going to pick up one or two extra anime figures just in case. Uh, there's a good couple of anime figures in Ryuji's part that you can pick up ahead of time. So I'm going I'm to do that. <laughs> but yeah, we have a new special infected type in this chapter. Uh, the Molotov zombie, who in the normal any percent is a pain in the ass. In Dead Souls difficulty is really good because the Molotov zombie kills zombies. Like, really fast. A zombie. I think that sells for 50k, so that one's not too bad. That one's definitely not too bad. Now, ideally in this next bit, 
Uh, we're gonna get a couple of materials. Uh, hopefully the ones that we're looking for are scrap iron and blocks of steel. So every zombie here is aggressive. So if you're wondering why, obviously I just sat back here. That's why. That's an anime girl figure drop. That's really rare and really lucky actually. That's really good. Oh no, he ran at me. Oh, that actually hit. That's a shame. That would have been my, uh, as I said, that would have been my thing. Oh yeah, if they explode like that, I don't give you materials. Just realized. That sucks. Yeah, Please? Fuck off. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> the trick with monkey boys in Dead Souls difficulty is to kick them. <laughs> you could probably guess. Kick them, they don't dodge all your shots. <laughs> That's actually a really good money drop. That's actually like an incredibly good money drop. Downside, I got no materials out of that. So we're in a spot of bother. Uh, because this is where, this is pretty much our material farming spot. Like this bit and the next bit. Also, I got hit, which means my no damage is now fucked. <laughs> this is supposed to be where I did no damage, but apparently not. <sighs> oh, not too bad. This chapter doesn't last too long. This chapter is just literally gets Camarocho Hills. Also, again, first game that allows us to explore Camarocho Hills is just, you know, a bit busted. <laughs> Like we can come, we come in here in a set piece in five. But for a building that is as important as Camarocho Hills, you'd think at some point we would have been able to come in here, outside of set pieces, and have shops to shop in. But no. IGG, <laughs> in the future, if we ever do go back to Camarocho, can we, can we like outside of a set piece come into Camarocho Hills? I, I would very much like that. Also, fix Shangri-La. Next. My turn. <laughs> also, if you're wondering uh, what the fuck happened to Daigo Dojima, there he is. <laughs> Just turns up. Yeah, Camarocho Hills was a plot point. Like, in Yakuza 2, Yakuza 3, Yakuza 4, yep. Um, and then, yeah, we just waltz in here in Yakuza 5 <laughs> for that one set piece. And then, never again. Literally, never again. Anyway, folks, I hope you're ready for baby raging. Hello, Nasa guy. Right, we're setting Daigo to attack. Daigo to kill everything. Good luck, Daigo. <laughs> this is why my split is called baby rage, because it's baby rage. Uh, now, here's the weird thing. The baby is supposed to make it so that, like, every, like, zombie in this part is aggroed. But they already are because of Dead Souls difficulty, so it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> it's great. Vera! Ah, oh, Daigo's dying! Ah, oh, Daigo's dying! <laughs> Vera, thank you for the raid. Ooh. Oh, God, they're all in the entrance. This is bad. I'm actually going to heal Daigo because I'd like Daigo to be alive to help me out. Ah, this room sucks. This room sucks ass. So the only zombies you have to kill are the ones, like, coming up not here, but in this bit. Unfortunately, this monkey boy is going to come and ruin my day, so I'm going to shoot him over there. That's the monkey boy we have. So these zombies don't have to be killed, but unfortunately they followed me. Oh, nice headshot on the other monkey boy. Well, we have to kill in here. Fuck you! <laughs> so I'm trying to keep a very close eye on which one I have to kill. So one of the furthest back at the moment. Not that one, the one that's sliding towards me. No! Because now I've got the zombies behind me as well. I was. Not yourself. There you go. Again, I kind of need the ability, need materials because my material drops are terrible. Vera, how did the how did the Hugh cast run? I think it was Hugh cast run. How did that go? Because I saw it was uh, it was looking pretty spicy earlier. So I guess goes by in Rovio, aka the maker of Andy, Angry Birds. Yeah. Sonic Birds, indeed. Did I go kill? 
I go. Please help. I'm not doing too great. This fucking monkey boy is going to jump me the second I move around this corner. Now you're not. A little shit. Come here. I go. Fucking Dojima. What a lad. Uh, we have to kill all the zombies in this bit. Kill him. Please not Elastic Alloy. Usually I would want Elastic Alloy, not this time. Uh, Elastic Alloy bad right now. Speaking of bad, I might have ammo right now. I got you, Daigo. I, I, I promise I've got you, Daigo. Even he has to die. Help, please. I go. Love you, Daigo. Scrap on too. <sighs> My ammo is bad. Uh, please give me, like, multiple shotgun shells. One zombie on the left is alive. Good. Is this it? Oh, that's not great. You're alive. I shoot the aggro for it. it like, gets out of this. Wait, is that a leader? That must be a I'm stupid. I could have upgraded magic shotgun, but you. He's in here! What are you doing here? This is why I want to shoot the aggro first, so I can just take it out without it taking me out. Because it will keep dodging. Terrible. My ammo is really fucking bad right now. Uh, this is a problem. Bad runes rematch, miss out PB for seconds. Ah, oh, that sucks. I see my sweet PB later. Nice. Good. Good. Alright. This bit sucks. We have to protect the barricade while we literally have like every zombie on the map chasing us. Uh, so what we're gonna do. <laughs> we are going to uh we're gonna run around in a anti-clock oh, anti clockwise direction. Uh, grabbing zombies behind us whilst uh, killing these zombies, keeping them away from the barricade, and then just surviving! Downsides. Uh, FPS goes down. Also, I need to run next to the barricade at some point. Stop it from losing HP. Just for a little oh, God! Going clockwise now. Uh, also, you can't shoot the barricade from the front because you will hit it. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. This might be death. At least it happened at the start. <laughs> at least it happened at the start. Uh, the bad thing is, if you bring the group of zombies to the barricade as well, they'll hit the barricade as well. If the barricade goes down, that's it. It's the game over. Zombies gotta go down quickly. Turn. Good. Ideally, I would grab one of these barrels and shoot all these zombies. Like shoot, like hit these zombies. Away from the barricade. Thank you. <laughs> Imagine actually using the pistol. <laughs> I want to grab this so badly, but it's such a bad idea. Get away from the barricade! to turn which way I'm going because of that. I also need to conserve ammo for the next boss. I was trying to hit the thing behind me, but I can't. <laughs> oh, you're coming after me. No, nice. Your gun is reloaded for the next bit. This is where I was hoping to get a couple of like. See how the zombies now going for the barricade because they're all coming after me. <laughs> Ideally, I would have had a couple of you know materials out of this, but that ain't happening. 
What's a major Ragnarok online look like? Yep. All right. Recognize this guy. He's gonna hit me straight away. I fucking called it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I should have dodged. <laughs> this is why I have healing items, just in case. Oh, I'm also using the armor. Really? Okay. I'm getting hit here. I'm dodging. Fun fact! Nigridojum is getting his ass kicked! He's doing his best blessing, but he's not doing great. Ugh. The fuck away from me! I have a hit, dumbass. No, I didn't mean it! <laughs> Shot. Yep! I'm waiting to him! Hey. <laughs> Game's FPS dropping so much, it's actually recording my inputs. <laughs> Stop stacking my inputs, this isn't Dark Souls. <laughs> Dead Souls, thank you. Not the best, but I want to take it, I suppose. I'm very worried about my materials. My materials are not good at the moment. Hey, video game. Um, can I get some shotgun shells? <laughs> can I get like eight boxes of shotgun shells? I'd appreciate that. Thanks. I mean, that's enough. Uh, well, it's actually not, but that's fine. Uh, I'm taking the stamina and just in case. Uh, I don't trust anything right now. Uh, yeah, get rid of this. I go back me up, mate. Do not hit the aggro. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna hit the aggro. Okay, we're good. I think somebody hit the aggro. He goes dying! Okay, Molotov Zombie's good. But in a, in a general sense, in this game, fire equals good, as you're about to see. Which is going to help the lack of ammo we currently have. Because uh, this flamethrower, uh, it's pretty fucking good. Should go this far, but it's fine. Oh god. Goodbye, zombies. Daigo, you're here. Holy shit, Daigo is here. Daigo Dojima! Actually being here for once. With an aggro. Daigo Dojima, you fucked me again! <laughs> Trying to get you back, there you go. Just, it's a little hard, I gotta kill the zombies and the aggro. The aggro's a fucking problem. And ironically, this is actually the best way to do this bit. Playing pro, as you can see, is pretty fucking good. So you get to these jackasses, at which point it's not. At which point I'm getting my fucking shotgun out. Alright. Fine, Daigo. Duh. We got problems, Daigo. And we, I mean me. I wonder if the steel sheet there would actually be pretty good. Hey, Daigo. What the hell? You're on attack. I can do it with. You know, help. Okay, I'll even give you a med kit. Now kill them, Daigo. Kill them, Daigo. I think it almost did. Nice, good job. Uh, Daigo, Dojima. Die. Ah, the aggro behind us is the one that followed us. Neat. Job. <laughs> Good job, Daigo, I guess. 
<laughs> wasn't that great, but fuck it. <laughs> it worked, I guess. <laughs> I go fucking Dojima. <laughs> what a lad. Anyway, Daigo's first time in Purgatory, by the way. <laughs> De definitely. <laughs> Oh god, Daigo actually did help out a little bit there at the end. He, he didn't at first, but he did at the end. He actually shot the aggro we were shooting a couple of times. I thought that was the aggro uh, that followed us, but no, that, that was the good aggro. Oh fuck, I am very low on ammo for the next boss as well, which is a bit of a worry. Um, <laughs> Might have to pistol the damn thing. Isn't great. I should probably buy some ammo before we uh, take on that boss, but... Eh. <laughs> it's just, do the boss well! Toto. No, I go. Speed run. <laughs> we know waiting. No waiting, no slowing down. Speed run. Right. Cool. <sighs> It's him. It's the Ryuji. The Takoyaki seller. There's my gold split. Look, my gold here is actually, like, not great, but it's better than what we just did. Either way. Still saving time. Still saving time. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go meet a bad influence, aka Akiyama. <laughs> I mean, I'm guessing, I'm guessing the deal for Rovio is definitely for mobile games. Because, like, apparently, apparently some of the Sonic mobile games are actually doing really well. Um, I think the Sonic Runner game is doing really, really well. Um, I see, I see here that it's actually for a billion dollars, which... I expected, the, I expected Rovio to be quite expensive considering Angry Birds, but like, not that much. Maybe like half to 750. Um, million that is, obviously. No, not, not like $500 to $750. Um, <laughs> if, if, if Rovio was worth only $500, I'd probably buy that. <laughs> probably buy that and just go, hey, let's do more Angry Birds. <laughs> Make money, thumbs up. <laughs> it's certainly an interesting one. It definitely feels like an expansion for mobile stuff. 750 mil from another publisher. Interesting. Yeah, the mobile game... The mobile game market is fucking huge. Speaking of fucking huge, this boss. <laughs> see if I can do this boss well. Actually, as someone, as someone points out, Sonic vs. Angry Birds movie. That would probably do very, very well. I had no ammo. My ammo count is worrying. Sweet spot. Spin. Wall. That's not ideal. Two hundred bullets. You fucked, idiot. I am the idiot. It seems. That's <laughs> a weak spot. Should be good. Might be a bit off. Yeah. That's gonna do damage. As soon as he opens his arms, that's when to dodge. Yeah. Yeah. Now 
downside is I'm staying too far away and making him do this multiple times, which isn't ideal, actually. This is the long cutscene. Like, I'm not actually getting that much extra damage out because I'm not hitting, like, the weak spot. Alright. Now comes the aggressive phase. Two hits here now. Akiyama went down to one HP out of that, by the way, if you're wondering. Shit, he's trying to heal. He's trying to heal. Okay, he's trying to heal. Thank God. He does have a move where he does try and heal. It's this one. Oh, no, okay, no. Can't hit the weak spot, just shoot that one, I forgot. I think at this point, we just shoot. I don't think we do heat attacks anymore. Come back, Yama! Don't lock the timing up on this, please! Didn't get it in time. So that's how little time you have, by the way. You get to see this at least, but that doesn't help me. <laughs> that really doesn't help me. Right, again. <laughs> Without missing this time. I do. Got to lose time in this chapter because of that. That's why we do the XMB thing for the QTEs, by the way. <laughs> it's exceptionally important to hit these QTEs, as you can see. Yeah, there goes my gold look. All right. Not the best fight. And also, obviously, fucking up the QTE. Yeah, you get no time to do these at all. Like, no time. Yes. Alright. Let's see if this idiot forgets to buy the grenade launcher. <laughs> that was just that was a bad fight in general as well. Not just missing the QTE, but just that was a bad fight in general. Too many, too many uh, heat snipes, I think. Like, you get so much more damage off, like, time-wise, by not going for the, the heat damage snipe, honestly. Definitely went for too many of them. Well, we're still saving time overall compared to Akiyama, but... Yeah, just lost a minute there. Okay. Beauty time! Ryuji time. Here we go. This chapter sucks. It doesn't matter what difficulty. This chapter fucking sucks. Uh, there is a room where we can get uh, perma stunned. And just die, by the way. That's coming up very soon. It's not this one, thankfully. Oh, come on. Grab first is so toxic. I should have manually aimed. Uh, it's fine, second reload at least. At least I have full ammo going into the next fight. Barrett? I don't know if Barrett's theme has an actual name or if it's just Barrett's theme. <laughs> I'd always, I'll always be down for more man with a machine gun, that's for damn sure. Oh boy. This chapter's also one of the harder ones in the run because one, it's really long, uh, and two, there's a couple of really nasty bits during it. As you will see! <laughs> As you will see! I 
all of Ryuji's stuff is like genuinely like actually kind of hard in this run. One of them might be alive. Oh. And I reloaded on time. Good. Dying's story should make it into the remake. Um, considering it's like integral to Barrett, I'd be surprised if not. Who's alive? Good, got my reloading time. Yeah, the forklift part of this chapter fucking sucks on Dead Souls difficulty. Um, I'm gonna have to get out and intentionally, like, not have it explode. <laughs> Alright, we need ammo. Uh, unlike the normal any percent, uh, we need a fuck ton of ammo. Uh, we'll be using the minigun for the entirety of Ryuji on Dead Souls difficulty. It's really bloody good. Really, really good. So hopefully, we can get here, get ammo, and then get out. I'm leading them a little bit to the left. Only two? Yikes. I'll grab the heal just in case as well. That's why I'm dodge rolling just to make sure I can get through. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Was okay until that last hit at the end there. Alright, this bit sucks. This bit sucks. Zombies! I'm also gonna break the majority of this fire door. Probably not all of it, but oh well. It's fine. Do not hit this aggro. <laughs> right, we have to grab the furniture on the right instantly and swing. Uh, because this room, you can get perma stunned. All the zombies just literally like run at you, and as you can see, that can fuck you up. I get out of this corner. I gotta get out of this corner right now. Furniture very good in this room. Life. Left. Left. Still alive. As I said, in certain rooms or like certain bits in this game, certain zombies are tankier than they should be. <laughs> that bit right fucking there. <laughs> uh, I'm running out of ammo already. This is not good. This next bit is very, very rough. Uh, the the old uh, the old bulldozer that we usually use uh, doesn't survive much in this difficulty. So, yeah. So six zombies in this bit. Uh, be a little careful because they can kill the zombies, so your kill count won't register that. Also, with those headshots, hey. Three of them are, or like two of them are alive. Yeah. Cool, see? Actual the army soldier actually took out one of the zombies for once. Good headshot. <laughs> Good. All right, this bit fucking sucks. <laughs> the nice thing is we can get a lot of the zombies crowded together, but that's not a great thing. Uh, I also have no ammo right now, so that's bad. Uh, I might do the old grab the barrel, explode it trick. It's a very good trick because we grab a barrel and we make it explode in our hands. We explode, but so do they. That's good. Helps my lack of drops. Uh, because of my potential money issue, hello. Because of my potential money issues that I saw about earlier, I am definitely going to be grabbing some extra anime figures like this one. Usually I don't stay over here because like how many zombies still spawn in. But on this difficulty, it's not the worst. Uh, I can also blow up a couple of extra heat attacks now, like the big drop with ultra focus. Get blow special affected. I do not want the elastic alloy at this point. Pull back. Grab this ammo, and then we're gonna try hopefully getting the hopefully getting the bulldozer all the way to the crybabies. Look at the HP in the top left. That was three zombies, by the way. Don't mind taking this guy out either, to be fair. Oh, 
Double, double, double. Good stuff. Grab some our materials, because obviously we are quite down on a couple. Fuck still, please. Beautiful. I'm gonna. Oh, wow. No, never mind. Holy shit. That was a good clear. That was a really good clear, actually. Holy shit. I was gonna go back for one box of Gatling gun ammo, but no, that was a good clear. That was really, really good. Holy shit. Gatling gun, as much Gatling gun as we can grab. I'll grab a little bit of uh, healing as well. Uh, abilities! You want head lock on. Uh, and we obviously want demolition expert. Demolition man. That's going to help with what's coming up. Ooh. <sighs> that was pretty good. That felt pretty good. That bit wasn't bad at all. I'm kind of curious if that went a little faster than the normal any percent, actually. <laughs> 413 there isn't, like, actually that awful. God damn. Nice. Nice. Anyway, time to blow our way out of this city. Let's go. I don't know why sometimes it doesn't let me skip cutscenes, but great. Anyway, here's the tank we use in Magmill. There should be ammo left, but there is not, as you can see. Storyline wise, you gotta go get some ammo. I'm pretty confident I'm gonna have money issues, even with the anime girl drop. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out of my way at the next bit after the Dip Terrors to get a anime figure. It's gonna cause some zombies to spawn, which is a bit of an issue, but. Yeah, definitely worth it. You can see the headlock on here is really good. Should have been a bit closer to the tip tower. It's fine. So it only spawns in here. There is an anime girl figure uh, down the alley with a forklift and an aggro, which is a bit. Not great, but you can get past them. That one sells for 150k, remember? So it's very good. It will help with my money issues after the last fucking time we did this run. Good, they pushed me backwards. I kind of want to go this way because right now this isn't great. Whee. Uh, I'm going to heal just in case because I would like to not die here if possible. Jesus Christ. Alright, y'all. Uh, I don't want to go down this way. Jesus Christ. I just can't get up. Fucking this difficulty sometimes. Actually, that explosion really helps. That will kill uh, the area of some of the zombies. Now, piss off. That was bad. That was very bad. I want to heal again just in case we have a problem with the, uh, the hermit coming up. Fucking difficulty, I swear to god. <laughs> I'm intentionally gonna go. No, I'm not. My ammo's actually pretty good right now. I was gonna go grab the ammo that's behind me, but now we're good. Hermit! So, because of Demolition Man, uh, we're just gonna grab this barrel and do the same we do as on the normal 8%. Again, that's thanks to the Dead Souls runners for doing that. Didn't mean to do that. I was hoping to go further, but it's fine. Because the problem is, if I die anywhere here, we go back to the tank. So, I'd rather not die here. Uh, there is a anime figure coming up as well that I am going to grab, and we should be good for money at that point. Should be very good for money at that point. I think my Hasagaya missions are going to be pretty bad. So, I'm kind of glad I went out of my way for the extra money just in case. We'll see whether that was uh, necessary or not in a minute. I'm going to have to kill the zombies here. Only this alleyway. One of them is alive. So I'll go back there in a second. I'm going to run down this way to kill the zombies down here and grab anime figure. Oh, by me. Who's the last zombie? Him. <laughs> Just him. All right. 
The nice thing about this escort bit is that I don't actually need to get them to the building. Uh, I just have to get to the building. So that's what we're going to do. Move them to the left, then go to the right. Avoid the aggro, because the aggro is fucking terrifying. Good. <sighs> Alright, now we're checkpointed. <laughs> Also, in here, we can get some ammo. Thank God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Maybe you'll understand how stressful this run is. This run is exceedingly stressful. Uh, yes, all of the above. Also, some of this. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I'll take this. Get rid of this and get rid of the elastic alloy. That's such a shame because, like, all that elastic alloy would have been so good on Majima. There's so much elastic alloy drops in this run. <laughs> Fucking hell. Ugh, alright. Alright. Ammo down there if we need it, which we don't at the moment. We might do later. Uh, we're going to go do the two hard groups first. I'm going to push that out of the way now. I'm going to grab the ammo as well. Uh, actually, this is what I want to bring forward. So I want to drop this about... I think it's here. I hope that by going on this side, these two will run towards me. Oh! Idiots! Come, buddy! the nasty bit. One got grabbed, didn't he? He got hit by that singular zombie. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and bloody tastic. Uh, for this bit, we now need to get all of the survivors into a specific area, which is in front of uh, Camaro Castle. There's no indicator, but there is actually something you can use as a visual indicator. On either side of the doors is a lamppost. You can see it behind those two in the cutscene there. And there's one on the other side as well. If you get them between the lampposts, that's it. We we'll go for the other hard group. We we'll need to get them out of the way before we go back. That'll be. The yep, motorbike is there. That pushed it along a bit. I'm not happy about that. Because that motorbike is primely placed. Might do the thing where I go around instead. Uh, I'm going to grab some more Gatling gun ammo, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, God, yes. Oh, that's so nice. Uh, Yeah, I'll put the grenade stuff away because we can grab that later. Uh, we're going to be needing a bunch of Gatling gun rounds. Way more than this. Oh, that's a good drop. Okay, we have definitely no money issues. Money is good in this run now. We have zero money issues whatsoever. God, we had two lucky drops. All right, so we need everybody to run backwards with us, which, yeah, that's not happening now. Fuck, that's bad. Us getting knocked over is bad because it delays everybody, and now all the zombies from behind are also going to come this way. Come on, y'all. Holy shit, that's really bad down there. That's why you really don't want to get stuck at the start. There's an item drop, but I'm going to leave it. We should be good. If we're not good at this point, then, you know, one deserves to die. Come on, all of you. Come on. <laughs> Run's fucking stressful. Is that mobile in a good place? No, it's not. I'm gonna go around. I was hoping it'd be near this monkey boy so I could get the monkey. That's bad. Alright, that was the big truck exploding. Forgot about that. 
really see about like setting it up to like get these zombies, honestly. Uh, we're gonna try running. Probably not a good idea. Someone's got grabbed already. And I'm down. Just in case we heal. I'll keep my stun and Royale. Uh, no, I don't need stun and Royale. Where is the toughness CZs will actually help? We need the toughness CZs in the next chapter. The nice thing about them going down to no HP is that they'll at least follow me like Nagahama did. So I'm just going to run down here, turn around, and shoot. Pray that we get people actually following us. And ironically, I am trying to hit the barrels so I can, you know, clear the path. Ideal. One of the soldiers, yeah, as I say, is like trapped back there. Alright, let's hope everyone comes through. They probably won't. Let's find out. Glad you're dead, at least. Good. That explosion is what I wanted to see. We good? Alright. Not great. <laughs> Over here, sir. Nope. Thankfully not. We'll stay down there. Thank you. I'm still alive. That's not great. Uh, the two who are incapacitated, though, will take a while to come back, unfortunately. Nice. All right. One last group. And then we have the hard bit of this chapter. Yes, none of this is the hard bit yet. <laughs> Funnily enough. Uh, this bike's going to be in the way. So this one. Push that away. Uh, thankfully, these three should hopefully run towards us, but on Dead Souls difficulty, they'll probably get caught or stuck. My um, hands got stuck already, so have I. This ain't ideal. Uh, I'm prioritizing my safety right now, and I will deal with them in a second. Well, I'm glad that's them and not me, if I'm being honest. Good stuff. All right. Now comes the hard part. <laughs> now comes the very hard part. X. Thanks for the key to the forklift. I want to take a drink, but now is not the time. All right. If we go inside, we can get some more ammo if we need. I actually need uh, inventory space at the moment. I don't know if shooting the barrels ahead of time here will make them disappear. I'm going to try. It would really help if it did. It would really help if it did. And I do. I don't actually want that ammo. Alright, here we go. So as you can probably guess, the forklift has... No, they're back. Look. <laughs> They're back already! What the fuck? What the fuck? I blew those up, damn it! <laughs> so, the problem that we've got isn't the fuel at the top. The fuel is a bit of an issue, but it's not like the biggest issue. The bigger issue is the HP bar beneath the actual forklift. Uh, if that runs out, it's a game over. And unfortunately, uh, we're on Dead Souls difficulty, so it runs out very quickly, very easily. So unlike the normal any percent, where we can brute force our way through, uh, we cannot brute force our way through this bit. We have to make sure we go slow here. We're going to be getting out of the forklift and dealing with two waves of zombies. That way I can brute force the end of this. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Explosives. <laughs> so kill them. Run forward to spawn this wave. Huh? Good. Kills. Alright. I might play it safe and take care of this next wave as well, just in case. See. I shoot from here. Kind of. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna play it a little safer than I normally would here. Because this run's actually pretty good right now. So at this point, we're just gonna brute force. And we're gonna hope that the forklift survives. If it looks like it's not gonna survive, I'm gonna get out. Actually, no, we can't get out with the tank shell, I just realized. Uh, full health is probably for the best here. Fucking hell, this bit's hard. So we're gonna try and get through the zombies and hit as little of them as possible, which, again... Not ideal. Gonna reverse here so I can go forward here, hopefully. Into the left, to the right. Half already ain't hot. Video game. Okay, boy, the explosives. Whoa, Jesus. Okay, good. Thank God. Look at that. Look at that damage that's been taken already. Like, Jesus Christ. Okay, and then we're going to go upside down. Whoop. <laughs> I love that. I love that bit so much. If you do it in the corner there, you land on the rubble. So you go, like, sideways. One day that's going to crash my game. I can guarantee you it. I should stop doing that. <laughs> Good shit. Don't forget to buy the fucking grenade launcher, you dumb piece of shit. <laughs> I have one objective here. Don't fucking ruin the run again. Not like yesterday. Oh, God. I have to be careful as well, because I need to save money for Kiryu. So I'm going to grab all the grenade launcher rounds we put in the uh, storage earlier. That's going to help a lot. That's a spicy five-minute time save. I think a square clear was really good. I think a square clear was really, really good, actually. Holy shit. Alright. Asagawa. So. Ideally, I want somewhere in the region of 3,000 points. Uh, a little less than 3,000 is okay. I would ideally like somewhere around 2.5. Uh, with the extra anime figure we got, I don't think we're going to need more than two gold plates. Um, we might not need more than one, but I don't want to risk it. So, Asagawa. How many points do I got? Just one off. That's actually good. Uh, so we're going to buy two gold plates. We're going to go down here and grab ourselves Sarge's Unexpected Gift and also a plasma battery. Plasma battery. Oh, good. Appreciate it. Sarge's Unexpected Gift allows us to improve a piece of armor that we're going to go and buy from Don Quixote. <laughs> of, all, of all places. Sure, damn right. So we're going to go into Don Quixote because we're going to get a item called the Fizzer Magic yes, Jersey. Halfway down. There it is. Uh, no. The Fizzer Magic Jersey allows us. <laughs> Fizzer Magic Jersey allows us to um, go 10% faster uh, in the infected zone, ironically enough. Uh, we're going to upgrade that to 20%. Pretty good. Alright, now comes the big Kamiyama shot. Don't forget the fucking grenade launcher! <laughs> For fuck's sake! Okay, so, we're going to do a small little level here. Uh, we're going to get... Uh, wait, wait, armor skill, thank you. Two armor skill. And one weapon skill. So that we can upgrade Ryuji's weapon another time. Hopefully. Hopefully we have the uh, stuff for it. Alright, we sell first so that we can get the money to actually, you know, work our magic here. So, we sell the two gold plates. Uh, not the plasma battery, the anime figures. We have on us. 
The extra rare one. I think we're very good. Um, oh, we're very good, I think. Uh, yeah, that's... I think that's everything I want. Yeah, that's, uh, we're good. We should be very good. This 300k goes to investing. There are new game plus categories. In fact, New Game Plus Dead Souls is the first Yakuza run I ever did. Because I didn't want to play this game. <laughs> so I was like, fuck yeah, I'm losing. I'm using the laser. Very cathartic after doing this difficulty speedrun, let me tell you. Okay, um. We're gonna buy an item. This is the big menu. Uh, we're gonna see if I can get the stuff for the shirt right now. Not sure if I have enough space in my inventory is a problem. Three of those. Oh, I have enough. Never mind. Yo, good shit. Uh, mod something. Uh, mod our armor. At which point we go to our training gear. Printed shirt is now 20%. Mod weapon. Where is Gatling gun? Hell yeah. One more time, baby. Come on, show me the good stuff. Yeah, baby, let's go. <laughs> like, yeah, baby. Play the fucking grenade launcher. <laughs> Thank fuck. <laughs> he did it. He remembered. He remembered. All right, now I'm going to go grab the uh, the ammo that we put away. Uh, just in case I don't get any ammo drops. So, 45 rounds isn't enough, but it's good for now. Uh, equip the grenade launcher, equip the fast shirt, and we're golden. Holy shit. Streamer remembers how to speedrun video game. Hooray! <laughs> Can carry on with speedrun. Let's go. Um, Ryuji's upgraded minigun is very fucking good for Dead Souls difficulty. Very fucking good. Uh, we're gonna be using it a lot. I don't know why I'm stutter stutter-stepping stutter or stuttering myself next to these bikes. But I am. Let me see. I now have a gold arm. Very nice. But yeah. Uh, this also will mean that Ryuji as a partner for the finale is going to do some good fucking damage. Good fucking shit. Provided he doesn't, you know, die. High possibility. <laughs> Very high possibility. Also, this leaves a bunch of money for Kiryu's part, which is what we need. stuff. Alright, this room sucks. This room absolutely sucks ass. <laughs> this this is a small enclosed space with about five or six zombies that are all hyper aggroed because Dead Souls difficulty. This room sucks. This room fucking sucks. Already! And as you can see, some of these zombies are really fucking tanky. Right behind me! I want the elastic alloy. Elastic alloy is not great. Hi, right, you're alive. Right. Cool. Hey. <laughs> hey. Not great, not bad. It's fine. It's a Final Fantasy IX run. I mean, it doesn't have the RNG of Final Fantasy IX, but it is, uh, it's kind of nasty. Now I leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, we're gonna begin with the grenade launcher. So there's a reason why we upgraded demolition expert earlier. Not him. Him. Oh, I missed. Uh, do not go into the alleyway under penalty of death. Uh, you go into the alleyway, you spawn in a whole bunch of zombies. I don't want you going near the aggro because I don't want to hit the aggro. I, I can't shoot you there. I don't want to hit the aggro. I'm going to have to move forward. I, I don't want to hit the aggro. I, I just do not want to. I should do that later. Alright. Using my gun. The Demon Slayer. Season 3? Question mark? Out now on the crunchy rolls. Enjoy anime, I guess, question mark? 
Here, I am brute forcing my way through. Because Molotov zombies help you out a shit ton. Ow. Fire good. <laughs> Unfortunately, we now have to go back. Michiru's manager is on the other side. So we got to go back the other way. Hey. I fell, but I will take this time to get this ammo because I'm going to need a fucking lot of it. Stop falling! Fuji, there's no more ammo. Downside, this bit also sucks because lots of zombies. I have killed the Molotov man, which is not actually ideal. Out of my way. Nice back steps. <laughs> That's actually really good back steps. You get a little bit of, like, iframes when you roll. Please, I'm in a bad position. Bad position. Thank you. Goodbye. Grab an ammo. Grab it now because this will despawn the zombies behind me. So that I can just zoom. Uh, reload grenade launcher. Reload grenade launcher. <laughs> Do it right the fuck now. It's very important we reload the grenade launcher right the fuck now. Uh, you'll also see that my ammo is getting very low. I probably should have bought some of Kamianas. I'm being brutally honest. Uh, rare zombie to the right. There he is. Hello. <laughs> he's just chilling there. He always spawns there. Uh, he's pretty good if you need money. We're good on money at this point. Need to worry about money on Kiryu at all. But as you'll see, I'm grabbing as much ammo as I can in places that drop it. Because... Man, just waltz through. Oh, I didn't get the grenade launch out in time. That's a worry! Because there's a bunch of zombies, and I'd like to fucking shoot them. This bit sucks. Not the ideal direction, but that's fine. I might be half dead right now. I only have one healing item. Oh, fuck. Fuck off. <laughs> Just get out. That was actually a really good grenade launcher, I'm not going to lie. Get out. Get out of my face. Like, there's only should be, like, a very few minimal zombies now. Look at the details. No. Oh. That anime? Damn, that is anime right there. I'd like to not die. Hi there. Uh, I don't know if there's any potential chance for the healing items at this bit, which sucks. This is Dead Souls difficulty. Uh. Hang in there, kid. I didn't kill that zombie. That's a worry. He's probably going to stand up in a second. Okay, good. Oh, he is dead. Okay. Okay, launcher. And... Kill enemies. Don't let them get close. Again, the nice thing is we get a whole bunch of good kills because this minigun upgraded is really good. Really good. Unfortunately, none of this checkpoints, by the way. So, I'm in trouble. Also, my ammo needs to basically survive until the next chapter because we have to go straight into the boss fight. I could potentially go to Kamiyama's. Um... Ammo count ain't super hot. It might be okay. Uh, four zombies here. One is alive somewhere. Oh, really? What the fuck? I don't know I only get three on the counter. Yeah. Sometimes I use the grenade launcher in here on any percent. I ain't doing it here because I'm kind of dying. Please understand. Born in, you bastards. <laughs> now, I am using the grenade launcher on the next bit because it's really good. So, make sure the minigun is reloaded for the next chapter. <laughs> and grenade launcher. Hopefully, again, we're looking for six kills. Six kills on the board right now. Hell yeah. Oh, I didn't like the minigun. No. More anime? God damn. Uh, now make sure you have the minigun on. And that's it. No more danger in this chapter. Good shit. Whew. 
Good stuff. GG. Good stuff. So I'm going to do something a little weird here. Uh, I'm making a safety save. Uh, I have had the bit after, like, the next chapter after this bit. I've had it crash on me. So I'm going to make a literal safety save. And if it does crash right here, I can actually load it because it's the same one. Uh, and also, I can also practice this boss for Dead Souls difficulty because, uh, yeah, this boss sucks ass. And now I have no healing. So I'm actually going to intentionally lose a little bit of time here to make a safety save. Please. <laughs> all my save data. Look at all my fucking safety saves. I didn't realize it was down the bottom for the PS3. I hate this. I hate the XMB of the PS3. I, I like the like the base like XMB, but I fucking hate the save XMB. I'm going to intentionally take a time loss here just to make a safety save. I still saved a minute and 17. No. Master Chief? But I've had my game crash here, so like if my game crashes here, at least I can load it up. <laughs> now loading just stopped for a second there. <laughs> now, folks, give me a second so that I can try and snooze ads because the ads are about to play and I'd like you to see this boss fight. Snooze ads. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, I will snooze ads twice so that you can see the boss fight. Here we go. Once again, folks, please get ad block. Um, you don't have to watch the ads. I just have to play the ads. So that Papa Jeffrey Bezos uh, gives me money. Thankfully, I got paid uh, today so I can pay my taxes now. <laughs> I was very close to going into my overdraft for a second, but now we're good. Fun fact about this boss. Uh, it's invulnerable during certain attacks like this one. Fuck you. be aiming on the left, because the left tentacles are harder to kill than the right. The tentacles are much harder to kill than the right. Okay, it's currently invulnerable again. Also, the fallen piece of furniture, they will hit you. Oh, shit. Uh, one eye on his panda. Uh, found out that some of these tentacles have variable HP bars. The two in the middle on both sides are less HP than the others. That sounds stupid. Yeah, because of Dead Souls. Oh, it's a bad attack. I have to wait here. There's nothing we can do about this one. This one just sucks. We literally have to wait until he, like, retracts. Yeah, his tentacles. Very fit, at least, in Dead Souls difficulty, Pops hits fast. Good. That's the two hard ones done. And now just the one on the right. So you'll see I'm just attacking, like, a little bit anyway to try and, like, get, like, incremental hits. Because if you can do that, that's a very good phase one. And now it's time for the magic of the grenade launcher, yes. <laughs> so we ideally want Pops to do a specific attack. If Pops does one specific attack, we can just melt Pops completely. Uh, my ammo's looking good for the next part as well, which is really good. Uh, I don't need to reload. I should do, but we should be good. What the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck back in the ground. Piss off. <laughs> Pops, please. That's a good attack. What hit me? I didn't hit him. What hit me? How? That's not a good attack, but I can at least move away from it. How? Oh, I swear to God! <laughs> Bloody octopi! <laughs> What's a puss? Octopi? That's the good attack as well. I'm gonna start shooting him in a fucking second, I swear to god. What? Alright, fucker. Get in the fucking hole. See, look at that damage. That's the good shit. If I hit the hole, it would have done more. Am I gonna get hit? Yes, I am. That's also the good shit. If I can actually fucking hit that attack. No! Eh, fuck it. I can't get him in time here. Uh, when he's on 1 HP, you have to hit him with a bullet. Doesn't matter with what gun, just a bullet. Honestly, the pistol's probably better to save FPS. <laughs> the, the pistol would probably be a bit faster to actually save the FPS. <laughs> food for four. <laughs> Big food for four. 
Oh, good fight! Eh, it was okay. It wasn't that good. The start of the second phase was bad because I missed a whole bunch of good attacks, so it wasn't that great. Hey, right, goodbye, Pops. Rest in Takoyaki. Anyway. This, unironically, in, like, the any percent, 55% great. Unironically, in the uh, any percent, uh, this next bit is, um, not too hard. Uh, it is on Dead Souls difficulty. <laughs> it ve very much is on Dead Souls difficulty. Uh, this next part is actually really nasty. Uh, and I don't have any healing items, so I'm starting to get a little worried. Cool. Saved a minute. All right. <laughs> I hate this next chapter. This next chapter actually is, like, really hard. We're really hoping Hayashi doesn't crash the game at this point. Because this is, this is, uh, this is sub-330 time, and that's really good. So if the game could not crash, I would appreciate that a bunch. Alright, so the nice thing is, I have reloaded my minigun that I can use to stop the Onraki at the start of this fight. Because he's about to throw some shit at me, and I'm about to get jumped by the bleed not lickers. I forgot their names. Alright, the normal zombies also come after me. Grain launch is good here if you have it out, but obviously I don't. But there is ammo here, which is good. We're gonna use that. Yuji's minigun is so good against these. I'm gonna move away from The other one invisible, it won't hit me. What are you doing? Grab these. It's unideal. It's gonna move. I'll leave the invisible one. He's fine. This guy is not fine. I, why am I reloading? That's such a bad reload. Dead. Hi! <laughs> you remembered you're a part of this fight, huh? Where'd you go? You're back. He's actually invisible. I can't see him. <laughs> it's working. The camouflage is for once working. Imagine that! Camouflage that we have for ages said is fucking terrible is working on me! Streamer cannot see! Please help! Piss off! Good fight. <laughs> I think I lose a little bit of time, but good fight nonetheless. <laughs> huh. Hey, numbnuts, don't forget to put the fucking shirt onto Kiryu, yeah? <laughs> yeah there, goes, there goes my gold split, that's fine. I only lost three seconds, that's fine. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we bloody go. Alright. Uh, this is the same, thankfully, as it is in the any percent. Uh, the zombies are thankfully not aggressive here, otherwise this would be uh, fucking bad. Uh, the only difference is the zombies, if they do hit us, will do a lot of damage. So we do actually get to- oh, they do actually are aggressive. I'm stupid, never mind. We need to, remember, hit them to the floor, so ideally, the gut punch works on multiple. Gut punch strats, much like speedrun strats. We just need the zombies to get up off the floor, remember? That's really bad. Playing terribly right now. Should be the last one. It was! Yeah. <laughs> Back to the yak of the free runs. Yes, we are! <laughs> Yes, we are. Where are my 13 revolvers? <laughs> Kira, it's time to go buy guns.
So now we have to do it again. My HP is uh, not good at this bit. <laughs> I wish I had more HP. At least the uh, at least the uh, the nag hammer part is going to be very satisfying and good. Very worried about like curious for the chapter. Come on, I'm worried about everything. Jesus Christ! Not hit. You can also do the running drop kick, which is good. That's probably what you should be doing in this bit, to be honest. I'm stunned the zombie, even though I want him to get up faster. The drop, the running drop kick, is probably the thing to do here. To be brutally honest. So you know, whoops. Uh, the way that this bit moves forward, uh, it's based on when you knock the zombies to the ground and they get up. So you need a certain number of zombies to go on the floor and then you just need them to get up. So when you're doing the any percent where, you know, people aren't actually like hyper aggressive, what we would usually do is just... What we would usually do is just let them like get them on the ground and then kick them to get them up faster. As we like downed a certain number of zombies. I think the first one is four, and I think the second one is either five or six. <laughs> what a wonderful prediction. <laughs> anyway, remember when Nag Hammer glitched that game out like two hours ago? Yeah, fuck you. It's my time for revenge. Fuck you. <laughs> this is actually really sad. Like this, in the actual game, this like bit is actually genuinely sad. But um, fuck you, Nag Hammer. So, up. Hello. Uh, it's the exact same as before. Get him on the ground and then get him up. It's the exact same. Like it doesn't matter about like getting his HP back. He gets up slower on fucking, like, pencils difficulty. That's so bizarre. It takes him longer to get up on dead souls difficulty. What the fuck? It's usually one kick. Bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Did I I hear in my PB because how the hell am I saving this much time? Huh. Alright. He's just tired. Yes he is. I'm hitting the record button in case my fucking stream goes down. <laughs> I'm not losing this Dead Souls difficulty run like the last time. Uh, in this game, unfortunately, Kiryu Fist doesn't work, so Kiryu Gun is stronger. <laughs> um, Alright, so the important stuff. Uh, need a shotgun. By the way, ads are playing. <laughs> if you don't see the ads, good job. You were listening. You've got either Switch Turbo, sub to the channel, or indeed, use the ad block. Good job. <laughs> Anyway. Cammy Hammer. Here's what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to... I'm going to go into the back real quick. Uh, I'm going to grab my stuff first so that I can figure out my uh, inventory spaces. So, move items. We're going to bring over 10 shotgun rounds. Yeah, unfortunately not. Uh, the grain launcher rounds. Uh, the chainmail, the sprinter shirt. All four amulets. I think that's everything from there. Weapons. Uh, the grenade launcher. I probably want the sniper as well, but it's fine. Uh, the sniper actually might be a very smart idea as a just in case. If we have if we have problems against you know who, it might be a good idea to have one round of rifle and the sniper, because the sniper's not gonna fill up like inventory space for me, so it's fine. Uh, we're going to left knee pad because that's where the anti material rifle goes. Uh, we're gonna put on the sprinter shirt to begin with, so we go fast. Cammy Hammer, my old friend. I would like something very particular. A fucking hunting shotgun. <laughs> Cammy Hammer, my old friend. Make it better. That was strong. There we are. Uh, the no, the path maker. The path maker. Don't go for the other one. I don't think I can do it again, but I'm gonna check. I'm fairly certain I can't do it again at this point. No, I need. One aggro metal, two sacred wood. The sacred wood are the, uh, the problem. But I will buy a whole bunch of ammo for this, because I'm going to need it. One, two, three, four. Uh, I'll buy two Let's rounds of grenade, it. and you know what? I'll buy, yeah, another grenade. Another shotgun. Four. Never mind. Uh, and 
I guess I'll do it here. I should do it later. Um, one. Two. Three. I can now equip more accessories. Brewster, thank you for the five months and the whoop de doo I appreciate the whoop de doo All right, cool. We're looking good now. Looking very good. Uh, we got the grenade launcher. We got the armor. We got the amulets. We have the shotgun. We've upgraded the shotgun. I'm equipping the shotgun. The sniper is a just in case we need a backup for Batman. I'm gonna do the uh, I'm gonna do the shotgun strat to begin. The sniper is also just in case for the um, the Majima part, but we should hopefully not need it. Put the shotgun on just in case we need to. And then I'm gonna try running because running is faster than like actually shooting. But unfortunately, we do need to shoot to get zombies out of the way. So we're just gonna try and just run and just duck and weave, avoid zombie. We are gonna need to shoot in a little bit. Uh, I do need to reload my sniper. It's only really got two rounds loaded right now. But we should be good. We. <laughs> out of my way. Should have dodged. Oh, gone right. One of the two. Oh dear. Uh, it might be shooting time. <laughs> out of my way. And we don't need a saggy next to us. Uh, she can just be far back. Everyone here dies. Because you don't want to get stuck in here. You do not want to get stuck in here at all. This bit really sucks. So everyone dies and then we run through. Good. The one in front of me, not that one. There we go while I can. The launch is important because we want to get through this next bit as fast as possible because there's obviously a bunch of zombies that are aggroed. And the meathead is actually in a good place because we want to shoot this grenade right here. Yep. That might mean grabs because that gives time for the, uh, the barricade to disappear. Uh, we are going to grab, hopefully, actually, no, I. Shouldn't need it because I have a bunch of it. I was gonna say grab a little ammo, but actually we should be good. Just in case. I'm just gonna say this outright right now. If we get the Hayashi crash, I'm gonna be pretty angry. Um It's not gonna affect obviously the people who bet, but if I get the Hayashi crash on this run, I'm gonna be really mad. Because this is a good run so far. This is a very good run so far. I guess I have intentions hanking things to the face so that I get fire laid down. Should stop a bunch of zombies from behind me. Only thing I worry about now is the small room and the hermit. Why the shotgun stays on for now. We'll grade launcher towards the end for the last bit. That's bad. That's good. Sadly, I kind of want to stay alive. So... Go on, attack now for the next bit. That way, perfect. I would like to just shoot at the start here because everyone's going to be aggro. So everyone should, like, get close to me. I should be able to just, like, burn them with this grenade launcher, hopefully. Not everyone will die, but that's fine. I just want to get as many of these at the start as possible. There's also Molotov Zombie. He's actually, like, really good. There are furniture behind me if I need, uh, but the grenade launcher, like, yeah, one of that should work. Save that for the next bit. I don't have it equipped. That's an issue. Good stuff. That's a lot more smoother than I've done it in the any percent as well. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Cool. Good stuff. 
Good stuff. Very good stuff. Uh, we're not going to know how far ahead we are at this point, because in my PB I didn't actually split here. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> but very good so far. Very, very good so far. There's definitely still a gold, but we will never know by how much. Be pinging me on Discord. What? Um. Alright, this bit kind of sucks. Uh, I'm going to put both of them onto attack, especially Majima, and get the grenade launcher out. Okay, I'm so glad we can use this in this bit. Because we don't want to use the sniper on these guys. It sucks. So, we need to help Majima. Thankfully, as you can hear, Majima is going wild right now. Uh, so, we're going to stand here and we're going to shoot the Grave Launcher. I think that's a bit too low. That ah, works, okay. The Meathead is the one I really want to hit. Because he's going to take a few to go down. Get these on these behind. Or not. The travel for this is a bit rough. One more. Be good. Uh, I'm actually going to snipe the last one at the back because they are, like, really far away. Imagine it's being caught at the moment, which isn't great. Need to help him. You'll get the last one. And I'll get you. Why we don't like using the sniper? I don't know if that was him or me. Let me take credit for that. I don't think it was me. It's <laughs> gonna reload this. Make sure this is reloaded before we move forward. Uh, we don't have to kill zombies here. We just have to get out. But I just want to make sure I was reloaded before the next bit because the next bit is terrifying. Starting with a grenade launcher. The Molotov zombies tried to hit me through the wall and hit themselves. What a light. Nice no sound effect. Take care of the hermit. Majima's in trouble at the moment. I want to use too many of my ammo up because we are going to need some for the boss coming up. Though one here would be pretty good. Oh, shit, I want to say Majima. This is bad. Majima's been caught in the middle. He has a bunch of zombies around him, though, which is really good. As I say, that should, like, clear house, which is really good. Majima's just dying. This is bad. He has no medkits, by the way. Majima's dying on chucking grenades. The terrors need to be dealt with as well. I have to save my ammo at this point. Just like one hit. Zaggy's like got more than half HP and has a man kit left. I think this kills the management. Hold on. Okay, you gotta go. Okay, now just clean up. Magic is down. You might be the last one. Okay. That was okay. I do need this box to give me grenade launcher rounds. <laughs> like, I really need this box to do grenade launcher rounds. Like, I'm, I'm pretty fucking desperate. Like, I'm very, very fucking desperate right now for grenade launcher rounds. I'll take it. Uh, I'll take one heal as well, just in case. Oh, jeez. Uh, back me up. Do not attack. Thank you. Make sure all my guns are reloaded. The sniper rifle is obviously fine. That's the just in case. Saggy is dying, which isn't the best, because I'm kind of hoping she'll help me in a minute. Uh, I'm going to put her on an attack now, because she shouldn't attack back there, but she will up ahead. Fuck! 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 This is not where I want to get hit! No! This is bad! Hermit actually might help me with his hitbox. 
Downside, that hermit's gonna come after me. I probably should have grenade launched it. Oh, it's rolling. I hear it. Uh, I'm actually gonna heal just in case. This is why I have my spare heal, just, just in case. Once again, flamethrower, good. I'm gonna try and take care of the zombies behind me first because they're gonna be the issue. It's just the one. Interesting. Hello, monkey. Okay, we're gonna just fire and go forward. What? I'm pretty confident the fire just reached all the way down there to the barrel. That's a little weird. I'm not gonna lie. I probably shouldn't go this far, but now we fire. Get most of these zombies will be good. good. Saggy, that's not ideal. I should heal her. Should heal me. I can't. Oh, fuck you now. Might be worth putting on the armor at this point. That didn't go well because now I'm in the corner again. Killed some of them. I think I die. I I don't think I get out of here alive. Fucking hell. Please just burn. Please just fucking burn. Explosion good. Walk into fire. Thank you. Under kills with fire bank though. Alright, now more of them. Now like 200, please. I really want to get these before I run out of flame for a few. Where the fuck even am I right now? If I go around and loop, I can get them on the other side. You piss off. Okay, good. This is the one that spawned down here. This one has to go. And then it should just be the zombie. The socks! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, what to say? What to say? <laughs> okay, no, I'm glad I didn't die. All of my healing, it's gone. <laughs> it's not good. Jesus Christ. Could have gone worse. Yeah. <laughs> could have gone a bit better, but could have gone worse. Fuck you know. God, I hope I have enough grenades. Only around 40 for Dead Souls difficulty. Ain't super hot. Um, I might intentionally grab grenades in the in the uh, the Batman fight. I'll buy them off this guy. You know what? Fuck it. Hold up, friend. Uh, give me some grenade launcher rounds. What do you mean I can't carry any more? Uh, I'm going to sell. Yeah, I don't need any of this anymore. So that all goes. Thank you. Okay, are you okay? <laughs> I think he is. Uh, give me two. That should be more than enough. I get given healing items by Akiyama in a second. It's fine. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> oh, this entire awesome. bit is so stressful. Um, This next bit isn't, which is nice. <laughs> this next bit's just dumb. Uh, if you've ever seen Yakuza Dead Souls, you know this is the uh, the holdout for three minutes part, which, you know, it's not actually that bad. Not actually that bad. Good. <laughs> you appreciate it. Uh, I will actually send back... Uh, I'm actually going to send the six shotgun rounds back because I would like the healing items just in case. I don't think I'll need them, but hey, I'd rather have a healing item than six shotgun rounds right now. Alright, so... 
This bit's rough at the start. Once you get past the start, this bit's not a problem at all. Thankfully, I have the shotgun on. We want Akiyama to survive because we want Akiyama to be the guy that's like shooting everybody here. I was gonna say, I'm gonna kick you in a second. Oh, that's bad. Hey, Akiyama, why are there zombies on me? Mate! Akiyama, we need to kill the monkey boy. Please get the zombies off me so I can kill the monkey boy! Or do it yourself, please. Akiyama. Hey, right, Akiyama, go forward. You here, me here, shoot zombie. So that I can reload guns. Just get my pistol out, because the pistol is all you really need in this bit. Alright, cool, good. Uh, I'm gonna make sure the grenade launch is reloaded. Oh, fuck's sake. Because now we shoot the hermit. <laughs> But I tried to kick him. Good, I did. But. Gotcha! Alright, Akiyama, you better be on attack. You are good. Uh, I should probably heal him, actually. Because he's not looking too hard. He's got about half HP right now. Hey, look. Anime. The trouble with being down here is that they can get quite closer, so you can see. I know. I, please, please let me heal Akiyama. Akiyama, you're on attack, not calmly walk forward. I'd like to remind you of this. I nice shot indeed, Akiyama. You're not exactly, you know. Ah, oh, whatever. At this point, I think it's time to just shoot the path maker. Hey, just in case, I can. Thanks. Uh, okay, good. good. Piss off. Akiyama, you have fucked me. Fucked me for the last time. I know when to dodge for you, buddy. Oh, Akiyama, have fun down there. He's actually almost dead. This is not good. And I just aggroed up all the zombies. At this point, it's kind of play survive. <laughs> my, my HP ain't hot. I need all this ammo. So, I'm kind of survive at this point. Yeah. Akiyama's dead. If I stay on the ground, I don't die. Ha <laughs> ha ha! I win! <sighs> All right, here we go. Fucking. This is the hard part. This this next boss has. Oh, oh fuck me! Uh, this next boss has straps to it. It's fucking hard. I'm just gonna shoot these ones out of the way. The monkey. Boy. The monkey. Boy. Piss off. I need to reload this. I need to make sure this is reloaded. Okay, good. I'm going to really try and hit the boss's weak spot twice in quick succession here with the shotgun. If I can, it's going to do a bunch of fucking damage. And if not, I'm going to get the sniper rifle out. <laughs> fucking hate the sniper rifle in this fight. Why did it get my pistol out? I fairly saw that was my controller fucking up there. I'm actually mad about that. Is that gonna actually do anything? I really hate this fight, like, a lot. If you, like, fuck it up at the start, you'd have such a hard fight. I'd really like to hit his weak spot, please. Thank you. Is he doing it? 
He's doing it. All right. So, we're going to stagger him in place so that we do not get the zombies spawning. Every time he lands, we reload and we shoot. And provided Akiyama doesn't push me out of the way, fight's over. No. <laughs> Grand launch is working, thanks. This is gonna be kill leet. This is gonna be one three three seven. The irony. <laughs> I fucked up. Uh, if I don't equip the stuff now, I'm not gonna be able to do the next part of the video game. Oh god. Uh, so I tell you, I do less damage now, but. I'll be able to survive the next part of the game. Woo! <laughs> Thank fuck I remembered at the end. Jesus Christ. If I didn't do that uh, menu right there, uh, this run was over. Because this next bit fucking sucks. I should have done that in the, uh, the sewer section, but thankfully I remembered to do it here. Holy shit. Bit of the car. Yup. Fucking hell, that was lucky. I'm about to save a healthy chunk of time, as you're about to see. This run is going pretty good. If this dies to Hayashi, I'm going to be excruciatingly mad. You have no idea. I have no idea. You know, just a seven minute time save. Sex are on by not fucking up. Oh my god. Agent Sensei, thank you very much for the raid. Hope you had a good stream tonight. Alright, so, uh, this bit, this part was found out by our Dead Souls difficulty runners, actually. Um, I don't know if they found a post on, like, game FAQs or figured it out themselves. The armor of the truck is related to, uh, the armor that you are wearing. Uh, this bit is bad. We do not want any zombies, hopefully, to hit us, so we are going to try and actually take them out. We need to save as much HP as possible until we get to the end. This bit is very, very hard. Also, the zombies are aggro because Dead Souls mode. Ideally, take out barrels ahead of time as well, because you do not want to ram into them. more importantly, there are zombies that throw molotovs. They need to die. Unlike the any percent where we can actually literally take a break here, you cannot in Dead Souls difficulty. I had a bit more HP than this, I'm not gonna lie. There's so many runs, yup. Some of them are a combination of using notes, and some of them are just a combination of remembering. Usually, I wouldn't shoot here because obviously it would slow stuff down, but I want this guy to not get anywhere near me. So I need to break his chest armor so that I can stop him. Now the timer on the top is actually, uh, it goes slower because it's tied to the in-game FPS. I do not want this guy to get anywhere close to us. That's why I keep shooting to stop him doing his running attack. The later he gets to us, the better. So, we can't kill the guy. Holy shit. I didn't stop him at all. This ain't great. I hit practically every shot there and it didn't stop him. Is 
it even possible to stop him? Holy fuck. Wait, he has HP bar. This is supposed to be an infinite. Oh yeah, because it stops. Yeah, it just doesn't kill him. Huh. Actually, I actually managed to get him out of, ammo, out of HP for once. Unfortunately, that doesn't mean anything for the future. Again, try and kill as many of these Marcel zombies as possible. It also saves on the FPS going forward. Good. Again, try and get these ahead of time. We're gonna try ahead of time to shoot that barrel ahead of us because I don't want that to be there when we get to the end. I don't think you can stop him in this bit on Dead Souls difficulty. I might be wrong. You can, it's very fucking hard. HP here. I do not like my HP at all. Okay, so this is the scary bit. Uh, we remove all of these so that we do more damage. It's a little harder to hit him back here, but it saves us from getting hit. No, bad, bad, bad. Okay, fine. Oh, he's getting close. I don't like this. <sighs> Never in doubt. <laughs> Christ. Oh, Christ. So fucking scary. All right. As I keep the, the I keep the chainmail on, is just in case he actually gets like close enough. One last chapter. If the Hayashi crash happens, I'm gonna be. Fucking mad. Actually, fucking raging mad. <laughs> this is such a good run. This is such a good, good run. This is very good. Pace. This is sub three twenty pace right now. This is really good. This is really good. Fucking hate this run. <laughs> this run is so stressful. Dead Souls difficulty is so fucking stressful. There's our gun. There's our anti-material rifle. Um, I'm gonna go back to fast shirt because fast shirt good. Shirt very good. God, I, I hate the start of this, like, last bit as well. This first fight is, like, actually scary. Good. And got rid of the correct thing. And there we go. That's the first time I've ever walked in here by accident. <laughs> Fuck. All right. I'm ready. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I should be able to get rapid reload. Uh, if not now, very soon, which is good. I don't need to use the grenade launcher, but I will reload it. I 
shoot there to make the monkey boy actually move. Anti material is for the door coming up because you can have, yep, zombie spawns in the way. This just gets them out of the way. Alright. Scary part. Rejoin attack. Because of all the zombies, we're actually going to run backwards. Uh, we're going to get to a point that's relatively safe so that we can get the zombies in front of us and kill them all. Go up here. Should be able to hopefully. I want to help Ryuji at least a little bit. I also want to hit him. Uh, the meatheads are important to kill. Oh shit, who hit me? The monkey boy! He's here! You bastard! You just don't die. Thank you. Fuck you, just in big trouble. Is this the hit from here? It does. Hell yeah. Get the fuck off me. I gotta help Ryuji. Ryuji's in big trouble. Ryuji's gonna die. This monkey boy is being a pain. What? Excuse? The fuck? I hit the wrong button. This is bad. Uh, get the shotgun out. This monkey boy's got to go. This monkey boy's being an issue. Unfortunately, Ryuji's gonna die. This meathead needed to be taken out way earlier. It's off. Okay, Ryuji's gone, as you can see. Kill this me head before he gets to me. And probably this monkey boy. Piss off. Uh, Ridgey, can you? Yeah, thanks, bud. <laughs> Be nice to hit the headshot, you know? Thank you. Alrighty, how are we doing down here? <laughs> Y'all good? Alright. Stop blowing shit up. Uh, the issue is a little bit over there, uh, those zombies, but it should be actually okay. okay we're going to now try Pathfinder time. Uh, make sure my guns are reloaded before I do this. Jesus Christ. All right. Also going to get ammo for guns right now. Uh, shotgun, definitely. Yes, please. These can go now. Uh, we don't need these, so we're going to get as much of the anti-material as we can as well. Uh, we do not need the ammo anymore because they will be draining out. I tell you what I am actually going to get. Uh, I'm going to get the Toughness Z because I have space. Uh, and I tell you what, I'm actually going to revive Ryuji right here. See if I can get him to help me out a little bit. I'll keep this for later, but... Alright, now for this bit. I should have gone and done this a bit earlier because we can just group up so many zombies here. You can use the tank in this bit. You might be surprised to learn that you can actually use the tank. Uh, the zombies are all going to gather in front of me. At which point... Kaboom. There's usually about 20. Uh, but because I've killed most of them, there isn't. I should probably go to the tank a little earlier, to be honest. Draw life. Looks all right. And another. First part done. <laughs> okay, Dead Souls. Uh, stressful. That wasn't a good clear. Um, but it worked. And that's what's important. Out the way of everybody, because we can literally... If I want to start... Bad aggros! You can just get down the stairs here, so I'm just going to dodge. I'm going to try and dodge. Ryuji, please help me. Nice thing is, Ryuji's medkits also replenish here. Uh, because I have an upgraded shotgun, although because Dead Souls difficult, it's a bit harder. Uh, if you get a headshot on this uh, fight here, you can take him out. Uh, running back here isn't too bad, because again, Molotov zombies setting fire to everybody. Okay, at this point, I want the Molotov Zombies to not kill me. 
Did he just come down from upstairs? I am confident there's no aggro in this bit. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I just picked it up on the way through as well. Fuck. <laughs> uh, well, we are 22 minutes ahead right now, so it's not too bad. I should be able to get rapid reload. I'm going to get rapid reload right now if I can. Uh, yes, I have it. Uh, whoops, excuse me. Rapid reload. Uh, this makes us reload faster, which for the anti-material rifle is very fucking good. Anti-material rifle makes very short work of zombies in the way. This room fucking sucks. Thankfully, they set fire themselves ahead of time. Unfortunately, the other one's still alive. This is why the Molotov zombies in this room are actually really good, because they're taking care of, like, all the normal zombies that are actually fucking me over right now. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Actually, genuinely appreciate it. Oh, he's got something back up in here as well. Mates, I'm gonna need you to back off! <laughs> so I took the healing item just in case, chat. I'm gonna go the long way around. It's off. Good. This is why I have the anti material for this door. It's off. The terror is not here, thank God. Good. Out of my way! <laughs> All of you fucking move! <laughs> Ryuji's doing good at least. Uh, Ryuji, you can be on. Actually, no, I don't want you on attack, but eh, fuck it. It's not going to change much here. It'll help for the next bit. Jesus! <laughs> Alright, attack Ryuji. Uh, we're just going to use the shotgun, I guess. Pathmaker, good. This is why we upgrade the Pathmaker. Uh, we did this in the 80% as well. Uh, the 80% difficulty. Not just uh, Dead Souls. Look how good the Pathmaker is. Uh oh. Careful, yeah, Ryuji. The crawlers? No. Make sure everything's reloaded at this point, especially the grenade launcher. And then you want the anti material rifle on. Because we're going to have to run through a lot of zombies. Sometimes we have to shoot early here because there's a bunch of zombies to stay Wait, lucky this time. One more animate, that's fine. Good, that was actually a good run through. The only thing I'm worried about is using up too much of my ammo, but we're going to be able to get ammo in the next bit. There's a lot of anti-material, which is good. We're going to need a lot of it. We're going to need like almost 400. Christ, this run is hard. <laughs> Very volatile as well. Like, so much can just go wrong. We're not even at the crash yet. That's coming up in the next 10 minutes. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed it doesn't happen. Again, anti material rifle is very good here because we can just get everything out of our way. Apart from the hermit, which is a little bit of a problem, admittedly. I should have shot since I came in the room. The Dead Terror usually likes to be out here, and even on Dental's difficulty, the Dead Terror goes. Alright, the main things we want from the box coming up is shotgun and anti material. You get the notebook, otherwise you can't carry on the story. <laughs> I will actually take some of the uh, the healing stuff from it as well, to be honest. Hey, Kiryu, could you open the thing? Thank you. One round of anti-material, huh? Um, it's not real. Sure. Uh, I'll go in. No, because I'll take some of the healing uh, that we can get. Uh, you. I guess I don't need that much grenade round at the minute, so I'll get rid of you as well. Healing good. Healing important. Uh, we're going to get some better healing items in a second here, so I'll probably like, get rid of some. Uh, shoot on the way through. The Hermit is in the worst spot imaginable, which is why you have the Grave Launcher reloaded. Just in case. That's why you make sure the grenade launcher is loaded, because the grenade launcher can save your ass there. Ryuji got grabbed by the one zombie. That sucks, because I need Ryuji to like have his full HP for this bit. So I'll probably heal him before the boss. He's still being grabbed. 
He's at half HP now. Thanks, Muji. Oh, fucking damn, Muji. All right. I'm probably... Oh, speak to that. Uh, I'm probably going to take the better healing items here. Or maybe just sacrifice one round of ammo for the grenade launcher, honestly. Uh, this is 3 5 free 8 I'm in. Grenade launcher is good if both the um, Kinro and Kinro actually are together. Um, I don't, why do I have a last thing? I want to get that shit out of here. Um, yeah, I'm going to dump one round of anti material, even though that's probably the worst thing to oh get rid of. Oh my god. Nico! Thank you for the raid, I appreciate it. You are just in time to see whether or not the speedrun crashes. We are at that point. The fucking scary point. I should have healed before then, so I could have got the extra item out of losing my man to be zero rifle rounds. I usually should shoot there. I don't know why I didn't shoot. God, I love the anti missile rifle so much. It's so good for doing that. It's so, so good. All right. Hard fight time. Here we go. Every boss fight from now on is just hard. Well, they weren't before, but... <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully your stream was good, Nico. Thank you, Meta. Appreciate it. We are 22 minutes ahead, by the way. This is a fucking spicy run. It has gone exceedingly well, and this man can ruin it. So what we're going to do is going to do strats where we're going to be backstepping so that we don't load in another round of our ammo. Who was that? Oh, I was going to say, was that him on the ground? No, it wasn't. I actually probably should have just done the um, weak spot hit there. He really wants... Both of us fucking dead. All right, I should have healed earlier. It's fine. I went that far in my inventory. So every time I dodge here, you can see the reload. You can see the, like, the shot animation putting in like the extra, like the next bullet. We can actually skip on that by just doing back steps and stuff like that. It's really useful. Oh, Battle Network came out today. Yo, I don't have... I haven't played the Battle Network game, but I need to. Actually, you're still all right. Unironically enough, in this phase, he can go on the ceiling. Ah, it's a grenade! I would love for him to do. Ah! Damn, that cutscene just took the damage. I thought Ryuji was going. Ryuji's on half uh, HP right now, for reference. I kind of need to put. For this game, I need to put my webcam on the right hand side of the screen, to be honest. We'll hit if we can get there fast enough. Beauty, out of the way. So there is one move Hayashi can do in this phase. She's about to do it. Or not. Okay. Uh, that move is to literally steal Ryuji's arm. Oh, good weak spot hit. I don't have ammo. Oh, he stopped him. Wow. He's trying it. Like, he's just completely trying it. He wants it. He wants the minigun. He's got the minigun. All right, so... Ryuji's health is, as you can see, uh, not great right now. Uh, so basically, he's actually going to be really easy to take care of in this phase. I'm just going to run here uh, because he shouldn't, hopefully, hit me. He should go for Ryuji. He's actually going for me, which is not ideal. Sometimes he'll aim at Ryuji, which is good. Uh, to get the minigun off of him, we can just use this as well, which also will make it a little bit faster for this next phase. That's... I don't know why I got the path made for out, but... He can steal it again, which is the thing that I'm worried about by doing this. I'd say that's why I have the path maker, just to try it again. Don't take his arm again, my dude. Not straight away, at least. Just give it a second. Oh, nice grenade hit. Missed. trying it again. He's trying it on me, actually. Can't steal my arm, Ruji. Also, you can't steal my gun, probably. One more hit. Does the game crash? Fucking hope it doesn't. If it does, I'm going to be mad. Let's find out. The next cutscene will load in. The cutscene after that, if it doesn't load in, you'll hear audio, but you won't see video. The game is soft locked, at which point it will hard lock, at which point the console will crash. We have a speedrun. Ooh, we have a speedrun. Let's fucking go. <sighs> ah. 
Thank fuck. Uh, it is completely random whether or not it crashes or not. Uh, we don't know why. Um, I have the suspicion it's a memory leak. I might be wrong. Uh, I have a I have a suspicion it's a memory leak. I have nothing to back up like my actual findings on that. I should make a safety save there for Dead Souls difficulty. Yeah. Anyway, survive this bit. I have no ammo. Anti material rifle, good here. Grenade launcher, good here. Dude, you dying? Not good here. <laughs> he was on literally half HP, so. Usually with his upgraded weapon here is very good. I've been wondering whether or not it actually helps out the any percent. That's why for my last few like easy runs, I've still been upgrading Ryuji's minigun. Because like I have the suspicion it does help. I might be wrong, but I have the suspicion it does. For this next bit, ideally I would like a little more anti-material rounds, to be honest. I'm starting to get a bit low. We have like multiple bosses coming up. Ah, the drill. That Ryuji. Excuse you. There's a lot of you right now. Hey, can we not attack Ryuji? Thank you. There's one zombie in the corner just hitting him right now. Get out. Make sure everything is reloaded. I'm not going to move forward here until everything is reloaded. Because that will start the next bit. Go grenade launcher, just in case. Get the anti-material rifle out. You want the anti-material rifle for this bit. This bit fucking sucks. There's a lot of aggressive zombies. Shoot. Get rid of them. There's an aggro around the corner. Get rid of them. Oh, I didn't even hit. That's great. That's why the grenade launcher isn't bad here, because the grenade launcher can obviously get rid of all of them. Downside, you'll get hit. They're alive on the floor, which is why I can't move forward, which is not great. Jim, I need you alive, please. He's on half HP. Shit, try to hit the aggros. I hit the aggro! That aggro is now going to come after me. Shit, bad, 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 bad. I'm actually probably going to take a safety heal here. I'm very worried. Ryuji's on half. Ryuji's dying. This will pull him forward. Okay, by explosion. That's nice. Also very Dead Souls. <laughs> also exceedingly Dead Souls. Uh, reload hit. Shoot as we go through the last door. There are going to be zombie spawns hit. That sucks. Okay, I really need this box to give me anti-material. Like, that's all I need is anti-material. Maybe one healing item. None?! I hate this fucking game. I hate this fucking game so much. Thank god we have the uh, upgraded shotgun. Ooh, you bastard. Um... We should be good for at least the first two fights, but... Has been bastard lately? Yeah, no, I don't like that. All right. For this phase... Hey, Ryuji. Tank everything. So, when Ryuji gets jumped on, we can get them off him by just shooting them, which is good. And they don't go after us. They will start to heal at some point if, like, one of their HPs gets too low. Please don't go after me. He might go after me. He's done. Jesus Christ. Please, save Ryuji. Thank you. If they start healing, I will use the Grey Launcher to see if I can do, like, the good damage. Nah, no, it's not great on Dead Souls difficulty, huh? What if the Path Mix would be good? Thankfully, they are very aggressive towards Ryuji right now, which is very good. I'm moving here, so they obviously, like, go after him and not me. So I can get like a better position. Oh, I missed. Also putting the camera down because this room literally saps all of your FPS from looking the other way. I could grab bullets in this part, which I might do. Dude is half HP. So that's time to reload. They're gonna heal again. Well, they try and kill me actually. Oh, nice. If I can get Kinra a bit, that should stop their heal phase, but actually their heal phase might not be a bad thing here. Uh, Ryuji's dying. Shit, he's dead. Should have said the habanero. Alright. Hey, how you doing? There's 
Now I get in trouble. I'm going to try and get one of them stuck whilst I get the other one. Gee, I should have this one. I don't know where I am. I'm doing a good job of keeping their HP the same, but that's not actually what I want right now. How did I miss? Hey, boys. <laughs> How you doing? I'm going this way. Oh, there is no ammo in this spawn. Oh, God. Dead Souls difficulty, you fuck. Dead Souls difficulty, you absolute fuck. Okay, okay, okay. I'll heal. I'll heal. I'll heal. That's fine. Thank God for toughness, Emperor. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh, no. Muji dying is a bad thing. Right, one of you jump and one of you stay over there. Kinro because Kinro is actually dying. That's Kinro. Gonna jump me. I thought he's gonna jump me. Okay, well, doing okay. That's Kinro. Okay. I'm actually going to Pathmaker for the end. It's like save shots for good old um, Hikaido. Pathmaker's actually pretty good here, huh? Shit. Pathmaker's actually really good here. Like, when it's just the one of them. Huh. It's not bad at all. Hey, thankfully the game's going to heal Ryuji. Um, God, if I could get an Hikaido skip, I'd be very happy right now. <laughs> Ammo a problem for both this fight and the fight after. That's what I have a big worry with right now. Uh, I might even try pathmaker uh, phase one, Nikaido. Might not be the greatest of ideas, but hey. Hey, yeah, healing items, we're good. I'm gonna shoot, and then I'm gonna tell Ryuji to shoot as well. But Nikaido is a problem, because he does this and he heals. Ideally, he... Doesn't Mortal Kombat need? It goes for Ryuji instead. Piss off! Ryuji, help! This is what you're here for! See, Ryuji's doing good damage. Just Matrix dodge me? Yes, he fucking did. Man thinks he's in a fucking Yakuza game. The nerve. <laughs> Now we're going to use the anti-material rifle for this and hopefully the last uh, last boss. I think we should be good now. Hey, try and guess where the weak spot is. You'll never guess where it is. I have literally no idea. Could be the giant floating heart. Uh, it's going to go to one of ten places in the room. It was in front of me to so the right. No, left. No, right is right. I should trust my hearing. I know my hearing's bad at the minute, but I should trust my hearing. Watch the blood zombies are going to come after me. Uh, and Ryuji. Uh, I need you to heal. Nice crit. That was headshot. On the heart, somehow. I think. Hey, Ryuji. If I could have hit a headshot on Nikaido here, we could have skipped uh, phase two. That would have been Nikaido skip. Are you good? Mate, you need to stop. Oh, fuck. Shit, my HP! What? Holy fuck! Well, that sucks. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he has blood bullets. Fuck that HP. I forgot he actually does damage in this fight. Fuck. Should have should have stayed hidden. I was like, he's shooting Ryuji. I can go and shoot him. Oh. Ah, oh, it's such a shame. This was such a good run up until that bit. It's still good. It's still very good if we can, like, actually finish this out. Hey, buddy. Is he going after me? Oh, dude, good. Throws him down because he has full HP. Hey, how you doing? Uh, thanks for slowly walking towards me, I guess. You try that fucking finger gun bullshit on me. 
Hey, Ryuji, you see me play, though. <laughs> Ryuji's very dead right now. <laughs> Good, he's off me. Why are you trying to aim headshots? But this works. <laughs> yeah, I forgot how nasty it was on uh, Dead Souls difficulty. Fuck. That's such a shame. That's such a shame. The rest of this one's been fantastic. But oh well. That probably costs me sub 310. Alright, where's the heart? It just appeared behind me, didn't it? Oh, you fucker. Ahead of me, that's good. FPS goes high. Left. I honestly don't mind if we push him into phase two in Desert Difficulty. That fucking heal, I swear to God. That's fine. You're gonna need a little bit of help here. Just no finger guns, that's all I care about right now. Where the fuck is he? That's fine. This is fine. This stops him from shooting me. This very much stops him from shooting me. This is fine. We have to shoot him, I think it's twice, because I think the first one will take him to one HP. And then when he's phasing back in, that's when we have to do the last shot. Uh, you can skip this second phase if Nikaido is busy when you're shooting him. Stupid as that sounds. On the right, left hand side, I see you. Cool! Alright! One more boss. One more boss or a bunch of fucking QTs to fuck up. <laughs> Here we go! <sighs> At least I have decent ammo for the, uh, the item zero. So, we're not gonna get the weak spot on this boss. The weak spot are the eyes. Uh, yeah, he's aggressive. <laughs> we're just gonna shoot. <laughs> that, that's all that matters at this point. Very hard. It's very bloody. It's hard to do on like any percent as well. Um, ideally, Nikaido is busy. I'm going to the left hand side because for some reason on the left hand side I have more luck with him just you know doing nothing. Yeah. Corner's good in this fight. Just gonna play this patiently. I have a bunch of healing if I need to, but I'm just gonna play this so fucking patiently. I've forgotten where the QT happens here. It's the match one, isn't it? Fucking hell. Give me a second. I don't wanna fuck this up. I don't want to fuck this up. <laughs> we're making sure we get it. That's why we're doing the XMB stuff. We're making sure we get this. Uh, if you're wondering for Dead Souls the QTEs on Dead Souls difficulty, you have like less than a third of a second for all of them. And if you fail them, it's bad. As you can probably guess. Ow, fuck. All right. You think I'm, you think I'm going to sit here without healing myself? You are wrong. <laughs> I'm taking every fucking precaution at this point. Yes, I'm on the right-hand side. Keep trying to grab me. You'll definitely get me. I promise. <laughs> How'd that work out for you? I can't hit him at this point. This point, it's over. It's Well, I say it's over. It's not quite. Uh, it's pretty much done. Uh, we have to use grenades, and then we get the anti-tank uh, rocket launcher. I've forgotten where the QT prompt is. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> Sub 310, fuck you, Nikaido. 
for some reason, like, in the past, we've managed to skip, like, straight to the final phase here. We don't know how. I haven't done it for fucking years. Like, good, that's the fast attack. Like, that, that. Once again, this is a just-in case. I am not dying. Not at this point. I don't know how we ever skipped, like, having to use, like, two grenades. But it happened once, like, a couple of times like, years ago. No idea how. <sighs> Just don't fucking miss. Asagi! <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember where it is. I know it's like around here somewhere. And time. Oh, GG. Fucking A. <laughs> I wanted sub 330. I was not expecting almost sub 310. Fuck Nikaido. <laughs> How fucking dare you! Uh, this run still had like three or four deaths in it. Uh, this run was still, you know, still bad in places, still very bad in places. Fucking hell, what a run. Jesus Christ. I am very happy with that for like 95% of that run. Nikaido, bad. Uh, but everything else was really good. Um, Chow said getting two of Pop's tentacles at almost the same time. That was beautiful. That was actually beautiful. I haven't managed that on any percent, let alone fucking Dead Souls difficulty. Christ almighty. I didn't even know it was possible, to be honest.